Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Marvel Monday. Steven is in the house, and I'm super excited because we get to continue our Rise of Red Skull campaign, which is going to happen today against Zola. And Steven's here, so I don't have to talk Hi, for four hours straight by myself, which I'm super pumped about. I, uh, I, I'm out of practice. I forgot to get my chat screen rolling, so mm. forgive me for a second. <laughs> it's hey, been a minute. this is my first day in a new studio, too. This is cool. Kind of a uh, nice gray yeah. background there. <laughs> Set that up just for you. I knew you'd love it. Uh, we're still getting things along. Even before we started getting the camera, I, I had a the solo there. angle yet last week. So Stephen was uh, helping me get the actual appropriate angle here. Also, we're switching software that we're streaming with. Uh, we'd love to know how do we sound and look uh, compared to normal, just to make sure everything is working correctly. This is really nice. So we've actually, our audio levels actually look proper. Um, I think they were getting crushed. So we, we were using Wirecast uh, for any we uh, any it. any streamers out there that were considering uh, what we went through is like trying to figure out the, the software. Went with Wirecast for a number of reasons um, that we won't get into, but have now actually switched back to OBS um, because Wirecast was doing all sorts of weird stuff that, that they didn't they didn't know why or how it was happening. Uh, things like the delay was off, like we couldn't get an audio video delay going. Uh, the, the volume levels were getting compressed in weird ways. And, and it was just like uh, through all these different channels. And it's like, why? And they're like, well, we don't know. And so we were having to crank up our audio levels. Um, all sorts of weird stuff. So everything looked good. Everyone looks good. Everything Everyone's sounds saying good. they look great. We've got our levels now at, uh, this gets me excited, at, at zero, zero decibels coming all the way through. We're not we're not having to amplify on any part of the chain. It's so it's cleaner. Right from the device into your ears, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and now we're, we're here, and OBS is free, too. So you save <laughs> well, Wirecast like a $600 let me, uh, thing. Finance is going to make a note about their, yeah, please do. their excitement about this change. Put it into a new lens. If I think about the reality of the way the audio is working right now and the fact that people are hearing us as we talk, yeah, my mind doesn't, doesn't appreciate yeah, I that. Know. I know. Uh, everyone's saying it's looking good. <laughs> Chris, that's funny. Uh, sound delay. Is there any delay? Is our 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 mouths are synced with our with our words? I'm gonna snap. <laughs> Dude. Little Thanos joke there. Thank you, Zach. Thank yeah, you. that's right. Uh, see if that clicks. Uh, Mutton Chop saying, "Hey guys, how is the move coming? It's it's great. We're in now. It's just like I think. Uh, also, this year for me, I moved into a house. It's the same process, which is figuring out uh, how everything is gonna work, what you need, what what mm -hmm. furniture you need, what stuff. So we're doing the same here. You see all the sound panels on the ground. Uh, the next couple of weeks, we're going to be fleshing that out, and even just the studio and the office space and whatnot. Here's what I think: we, I think we should get some shelves and put a bunch of board games back there. <laughs> you know, I I actually had a note to do that exact same thing. Uh, no, we won't be doing that. But Maybe I was like a comic, you I know, forgot. just to really who, who show how edgy we are. I was talking to someone about this. It may have been my wife, and she was <laughs> good, good asking guess. what we were going to do uh, behind, you know, in the background. And uh, then she's like, you could make it just look like you guys are like in a living room or something. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is like I think home, that, like yeah, a fireplace back here, you know? It's, it's interesting because the traditional game store has been too much like a living room, I would argue, in the past. So we, we're trying to cut that line between I don't know. living room, professional environment, uh, not Office. like every other board game presentation where there's just, you know, you're, you're flexing your collection in the background. Those kinds she of did things. think it would be funny. This is, she, I think she was joking. Maybe she was being real. If behind it we had like a bunch of pictures of us in print. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like doing various activities, like <laughs> which I, I got a good chuckle. I like at. to fill my home with just pictures of me. Yeah, That's well, you favorite. know, a lot of people do that. You you probably have pictures of yourself in your house. I do, uh, but always in uh, exciting places, which is a good segue to where I've been. So the past I was gonna week, say, give us give us the rundown. Past week, I went to Perea Canyon uh, backpacking. Now, <clears throat> if you'll allow me, I know it, we're we're back, so. Uh, I think we get less viewers whenever I'm on the stream because I go off on tangents like this. But point being, I think that backpacking, and I, and I mean this genuinely, if you're looking for a hobby, particularly right now, uh, you know, whenever everybody's a walking zombie trying to get you the plague, that backpacking as a hobby is one of the absolute best to get into for a number of reasons. Uh, one is that it's very cheap to enter if you want because... Basically, all you need is any backpack uh, and any food and hopefully some water. And clothes. Right? And, and, and clothes, but like people started this thing in like jeans and tank tops. Sure. So it's, I love it because there's a little bit of a spectrum between what you need to get started and how 
precise and efficient you can become is like, it's like building a deck, basically. It's like you can start with just the basic concept, and then you can, in the next 30 years, end up with like a more, much more streamlined backpack, a water filtering system that you really love and that you're familiar with, you know, a stove system, whisper light, et cetera, that you really know how to work and all of that. So it's a great hobby because you can express yourself, you know, your identity in what you buy and, and how you conduct yourself. And you could be like the gourmet backpacking chef. Like you could spend all of your weight points on food. That's hilarious. You could spend all of your weight points on like a chair. Like I packed a chair for the first time this time around. How'd a that two go? pound little uh Were people jealous of chair. your chair? Everybody did it. Everybody had a chair. Everybody on the so chair. So you could sit wherever you want. It was incredible. So I, usually you get done with a hike and you're like sitting on the ground and it's kind of like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. and it's rustic. But be, having back support whenever you're done and just, uh, it was amazing. So I would definitely do that again in terms of weight. So like just for mm. context. You and the in-laws basically have the whatever's on your back, and yes. then you just go. Basically, the way that this trip is, yeah, is a five five day, four night trip. So you start, and then you just go for five days with whatever's on you. Yeah, and basically, so this is a canyon. So you start at the top. So we we left our cars at the bottom mm -hmm. and got a shuttle up to the top, and then we camped at the top of the campsite, last or the entrance to the the hiking trail at the first night, and then hiked eight miles in, camped. Eight miles camped, four miles camped, ten miles camped, eight miles to the cars. And how long does eight miles take? <clears throat> um, in this environment, it was about four to five hours. Okay, so you go on a four to five hour walk. Most groups are about two miles per hour, including like the occasional water break. Um, yeah, and so you you hike. You're basically you've got. It's so liberating because everything that you need to survive is on your back. So if you forget something. You either need to figure that out or borrow or whatever. Um, and luckily, only one thing was forgotten. It was our third stove, and we had two already, so that was not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, all the clothes that you're going to wear, all the, and we actually had to pack out our waste this time, which I've never done before. Um, usually, I'm a, I, you, I'm at a place where I can bury it, but because it's in a canyon, uh, you don't have the luxury of like this is an ecosystem that you can just like mess with. So I actually was carrying out all my waste too, which was a really interesting experience. <laughs> I really can imagine. Get you, get you aware of your body. Um, but yeah, all of that to say, like, it was just incredible. The last three and a half days, for instance, we saw nobody else. Um, so you feel alone, you feel in solitude, you're literally kind of buried in nature. There's enough natural springs along the way that you don't have to filter water if you don't want to. So you're holding up your water bottle and your drawn bags huh. to the side of a rock. Now it's clean water. Isn't there still a chance of like bacteria and stuff in there? With those springs, there's really not as much. So with the river, if you were to drink right out of the Priya River, a lot of the runoff from the the irrigation and the cattle, like you know, miles and miles upstream, just can, gets in there, can be a thing. Um, but with this, this is like water that's been percolating through rock formations for months, if not years. And so that's a when I filter water, I push it through a ceramic you know, micro pores of a ceramic vessel and force it through. And that's what filters it catches all it's similar to how a mask works, like mm -hmm. it catches all of them, the tiny microbes. Um, but the viruses are a problem always. But you just have to know if you're in an area where like viruses are a problem and we weren't. Um, so basically, the, the rock itself was filtering like I normally filter my water in everyday life. Uh, and so it just comes out at the very end as a little drip or a little spring or whatever. Hmm. And you can just yeah, so fill up and go. There's nothing like putting your bottle up to just the side of a rock and drinking straight from it. it. You realize like what that used to be able to do that more or less all the time. And it's just devastatingly beautiful and uh, slightly disappointing. But all that to say, great stuff, great hobby. Check out Backpack. Seriously, if you haven't done it, check it out. Start with one day, one night, you know, two day, two nights, and it can get really addictive. So it's really, really amazing. That's awesome. Well, do you, yeah. I know that you got back yesterday. Yesterday at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., yeah. <laughs> uh, so how do you feel now? I feel great. I was going to say, truly, is it truly refreshing? Great. Yeah, it's, it felt like about a month, honestly. It, Good. It, it, you're just like, so it's such a different environment and such a much more primal environment that... You come back and it's just like, wow, I feel like I've been gone for, for months. Yeah, it's really, really great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, great. We're glad to have you back. Three missed you. I said a lot of kind things about you when you were gone. That's good. I heard you got bombed on one of those days. There was a I did. That was Crokinole actually... streamers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's like a, uh, there was a comedy. It's a Crokinole video, but this guy doing like uh, almost satire. Is he an influencer? She, I mean, six million subscribers on YouTube. You tell me. Mm. Um but he uh, then they just, for whatever reason YouTube you got started. A clip? 
started uh, dumping them <laughs> into our stream. And there were people like, what is this? So we were the next most relevant video for a Crokinole, I like, so. LOL Yeah, and I told them. Commentary? I said that at some point we uh, will have to play Crokinole on stream because I think it would be hilarious. Did you get them to play Ashes? Some people, yeah. All right, I said good. they'd check it out. They were, I, I linked them to the watch it play video because if they were like, we were in the middle of like a deep deck building session yeah. and all of a sudden it was like <laughs> 400 people. A lot of them had played Magic and like other card games. Yeah. Uh, and you should have seen the reaction when I said that I thought it was better than Magic. Oh, yeah. I know how Magic fans would react to that. Yeah. Adrian's saying, tune in from Den Denmark. Now I want to go hike. Seriously, do it. I mean, <laughs> seriously. It's probably the most fulfilling thing that uh, I can imagine a human doing uh, as a hobby. Hiking. Straight up, yeah. I mean, it's like the most connecting, spiritual, uh, refreshing, re reimagining your priorities as a human being, like understanding how simple the ultimate human project really is, like eat and drink water. It's basically what we have to do. You just switch the gears <laughs> from like what's important, right? You do. It's you like, really do. oh, you know what is really important is not injuring myself and making sure I have water. That's it. <laughs> Actually, that, that's pretty much the entire Yeah, I don't really think about either of those things most days. Uh, and then you stare just, into the just beautiful... Just gonna happen. <sighs> Meantime, right, I gotta play some Hawkeye, don't let's, I? Let's plug you back in. So last we left on Champions, uh, we our first scenario was against Crossbones, and that was a great scenario. I'm looking forward to playing Crossbones just in general, not even necessarily as part of the campaign. That was a, that was fun. So he broke in, he stole some weapons. Yeah. Really what he wanted, though, was one of the gems, one of the Infinity Stones. And or... basically the weapons that, that like got out are All now with them. us forever? The experimental weapons, yeah, they're in, they're okay. in the deck. Uh, then, when he was escaping, uh, Absorbing Man showed up to delay us. And he just, right. just kind of piddled around it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was all fine. And then, once we dealt with him, we flew back to New York and realized there was a Hydra symbol where the Avengers logo should be on a tower. And then our plane got shot with a, a missile. Right, okay, it was uh, a grand betrayal. Yeah, and that was Taskmaster. Right, of course. Uh, and then, you know, of course, we, we dealt with him. And then, uh, but it took is... us two tries. It did. We got yeah, he, we got punked, we got the punked first on that first time. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's funny is I went into the we we a couple of weeks ago we launched a Discord. I'm gonna link to that in a second when I can. Um, but the funny thing is I went afterwards and I was looking at the Discord, and I'm putting that link in chat for anyone that hasn't seen it. And they were like, "Oh man, you got to go watch the champion stream right now. TC is getting dunked on <laughs> by Taskmaster, which everyone thought we would not get dunked on." Uh, so, yes, we we dealt with Taskmaster, and now we're going to have to deal with Zola. You really, you, a lesson in, in humility, ultimately, in all things, and particularly games. It's just like, no, nah, like you're, you're, never, you're never so good that things can't go wrong. <laughs> they can, and apparently... Sometimes uh, you're just okay. From what I've heard, this is the one that things are most likely to go wrong on. Okay. Zola is like the one everyone's like. It's really, you know, it's about Red Skull, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to read. I'm going to read a comic. I'm going to weave you a tale. We're going to go into Arca mode really quickly. And if you want to give me the top down, they can Did you guys, see you the guys set up the rolling backwards. Usually my lever's on the top. Do I still press cut on the bottom one? I don't know, man. There I go. Okay. Oh, I figured it out. All right. Not bad. Look at you. Look at this. Look so, if at you the, go top down, does it work? In. Yeah, yeah. See on the, on the right there? Yeah, I want to I show the art so they know what I'm reading really quickly. Because uh, there's really no way. It's not like Arkham where it's written where you could actually read it. It's, yeah. not, it's not intended for this. Well, I really liked the way that you did it last night. I, I, I was just, a huge fan of that. I could really, I could really <laughs> It's difficult for me honestly. to do it without laughing just because it's so funny. Anyways, we'll uh, try really quick. Uh, in my best Black Widow voice. <laughs> that would actually be... You've been working on this for next years. <laughs> level if I was just like... Yeah, I, I've been listening to... I just finished listening to the Lord of the Rings audiobooks. Yeah. And he does a unique voice for every character. That's kind of the draw of those audiobooks. Yeah, right? it's amazing. Because it's like every character... And then there'll be some conversations where there's like four or five characters. A couple will be female. And there's this guy reading the whole thing and doing it. And it's like not even goofy. It's like... No, it's like... It's really good. It's really impressive. I will not be doing that. I'll be uh, doing my normal voice. <laughs> Anyways, Black Widow says, What's going on, Taskmaster? Very kind of her. How did, yeah. <laughs> how did Hydra conquer New York City? Taskmaster, of course, says, it's not just New York, babe. Hydra rules all of America now. I have a feeling I would love Taskmaster. Yeah, just from be. the way he's talking. Isn't he, isn't he, uh... So Captain America fights the Nazis, basically, right? Isn't that the original? Yeah, Red Skull, Hydra basically infiltrates, and it's, like, connected to all that Is stuff. Is Red Skull, like, Nazi-ish? Nazi yes. Okay. Is he, like, uh, original. Leader? So literally, one of the first illustrations of Captain America is him knocking out Hitler. <laughs> right on, okay. Back in the... That, that's literally, like... Anyways. 
Uh, Madame Hydra brought Zola the reality stone. Then the doctor used it to power its power to put Hydra in charge. So they use the reality stone to change reality where okay. Hydra is in charge. Uh, and we're asking, where is Zola now? Apparently he set up shop on Ellis Island. Rumor mm. has it he's doing weird experiments there, trying to develop the perfect soldiers for Hydra. Is the implication there that the immigrants uh, coming in are being experimented on, I guess, at Ellis Island? Right? I don't know. That would be my implication. Uh, Iron Man says... Dastardly. I've heard enough. Let's go get them. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, the level of story being told here. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's actually... like the cutscene of an arcade game. Is what it, is. <laughs> it really <Yeah>. is. <laughs> uh, scenario number four, Zola. Having defeated Taskmaster, you learn that Hydra has not only captured New York City, but all of the United States. It was the mad scientist, Arnim Zola, who built a machine to harness the power of the power of the reality gem and tips the balance of power in Hydra's favor. He's created a research station for himself on Ellis Island, thanks for telling us, Taskmaster, <laughs> and turned the historic port into a nightmarish prison for his unfortunate test subjects. Taskmaster was ordered to bring the heroes he captured there for experimentation. In this upside-down America, you are the only hope the captives have to escape a horrible fate. Do you know the... Do you know the um, maybe this is a, a bridge too far, but do you know the... The power of the reality stone? I mean, can it change any reality? I think so. Could I it mean, create maybe a... you know how to wield it. Well, why not create a reality where we don't exist? I mean, if we don't exist, it's no fun. I swear, if I find a genie, I'm going to break the universe. <laughs> There's always, <laughs> uh, like, clauses in the agreement that make yeah. that impossible for one reason or another. You can create a reality. You know, like Aladdin, 16... there were certain rules. You can't ask for more wishes. Yeah, you can't raise the dead, and you can't make people fall in love. Yeah. Uh, not with that. Not with the uh, wish. That least. can't raise the dead part. By the way, whenever he turns into that corpse and does that weird thing, I thought was the funniest thing as a kid. I watched that part like a billion times. I thought it was creepy, which explains a lot. Anyways, uh, Zola one and two are playing experts, so we're gonna go two and three. Uh, main scheme is the island of Doctor Zola. I have the deck set up. Hydra Prison, you got it. Got okay, it so out. we revealed Hydra Prison. Each player searches for Ultimate Bio Servant. You got one of those, and we put it yep. in uh, engage with them. Shuffle the uh, deck there. So after resolving step one of the villain phase, we're going to place a test counter on this scheme. If there are three or more test counters here, discard cards until a minion is discarded, put it into play, engage with the first play, and remove the three tests. So basically, over time, we're going to add counters, and they're going to be cashed in for a new minion. So we're going to be seeing a lot of minions on this one. Thor would be very happy with this. Uh, uh, okay, so every third turn, we're going to get a new minion. Joshua saying, Stephen Searson needs to just watch the MCU movies. It's comical at this point. It is comical, but why would we waste such great comedy on solving the problem? I agree. Let's just keep leaning in. That's right. Uh, so we each have our ultimate bio servants. They scheme for one, attack for one, four health. They're tough. Yikes. These ultimate, guys are creepy, too. Ultimate bio servant. They've got tough. When they attack, they get plus one attack for each attachment. That's a sign. Mm -hmm. Zola. Let's pull up Zola stage two. Two scheme, two attack. He's got retaliate one. Be prepared for that. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the test subject side scheme. Reveal it. No oh, bummer. Don't mind me. There's test subjects. You want to load those up with a threat appropriately. And then can you read There's what There's only one on Hydra Prism? Man, oh, we've got a ton of stuff we've got to do here. Hold on a second. Okay, one threat. Now, Hydra Prison, when revealed, each player searches their deck, discard pile in hand for a hero-specific ally, and places it face down beneath this scheme. Place X threat, where X is the total cost of all allies beneath it. Each player shuffles their deck. When defeated, remove it from the game and return each ally. Okay, so our allies are going to be held in the prison, and you need your Captain America ally, and I'll get my uh, Hawkeye ally. And I think I only have Spider Woman... Agent 13. And then we're going to have threat equal to uh, total cost. Plus one, yeah. Spider Girl. Is it, isn't that it? No, no. Spider Who? Who am I? What's my, who, what's Hawkeye's on? Um, I can just look for the little head icon, I guess. No, it's this, the one that stuns in the Mockingbird. Oh. Oh, that's not Mockingbird. Mockingbird. So it it's going to be in with six on it. All right, so coming in with six. We but got, We got those beefy allies. <laughs> Alright, so here's seven on the Hydra Prison. Now, the good thing is we know when we might want to get a three-cost ally into our hand. So there's no otherwise no downside to this. 
And Aside from Master Plan coming in and putting four and more being on annoying. Yeah. Extra card here. When defeated, the first player discards cards until a minion. Okay, so a lot of minions. I feel like this is a challenge do, for do Thor. I, do I have... Hold on. I feel like... Don't I have an arrow that goes through tough? Yes. What's it called? I, don't, I have no idea. Vibranium, probably? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> that sounds about right. I know that I yeah, have... Yeah, gains piercing, yeah. So Vibranium might be okay here. Luckily, I have Retaliate as well. So, well, I will when I get my shield. That's helpful. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening there. Uh, I assume I'm leadership, so I'll go first just in case I get you know who. With the you know what? Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. Draw my six. There she is. The Eternal said, "My friend accidentally called her blocking bird about a week ago when intending to use her to block, and now we can't stop." I hear that. We did that early. The old blocking bird early. Yeah. You gotta have it. Braun basically, and I took Thor through the campaign and really just rocked the scenario. I wonder if Thor was balanced around the time of Red Skull, because he's great whenever you have this much minion I, nonsense. I assume he was being tested with this at the same and time. And as Braun says, Lightning Strike was actually useful, which yeah. makes a lot of sense, yeah. All right, I'm keeping Marie Hill. I'm going to keep her resourceful in case I draw the, the bad card. John, tell me, was the quiver changed, apparently? Oh, yeah. Anytime you search your deck, you shuffle now. Good. It. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Logic? I love logic in games. All right, I'm going to... Resorts will be the MVP of this entire That's right. campaign. You I'm... got Maria. I got Maria, so I'm going to play her for one. And let's just say it's this one. I'm going to keep Falcon, because I will literally, with my discount, be able to play Falcon as well. Um, so that's actually a really great start. Don't you love this, though, Jim? This is my. This is a great one of the greatest pet peeves of mine. Uh, on a podcast, Caleb said that Red Skull was designed after all of Cycle 1. Also confirmed that the quiver change was going to happen on one of the podcasts. I mean, can you just post it on the website? Or like, just start a single Twitter account? I see, yeah, rulings. It, any, we'll it anywhere, a rulings. forum? <laughs> Literally a uh, posted document on their uh, door? <sighs> Random podcast drive me crazy. Yeah, random podcast. But like I, I'm also right at the point where I'm just going to start house ruling and not caring. Yeah, well, like, if nobody else is going to care. These are our rules of how we play. So I'm pitching these three. Oh, this is big money, no whammies. Two electric arrows seems good. Dude, would you look at that? I got anti-hero propaganda, but I got the wild in you hand waiting to go. Just what you needed. I'm going to go get my shield. Okay, we got this, we got this, <clears throat> we got electric arrow. You know, it's funny. <clears throat> What's up? This is one of those things I have nothing to uh, nothing to spend my two resource on, really, because I want to use my expert marksman to play my electric arrow. My bow is, what, zero, isn't it? Yep. But it cost me a resource to go get. So I'm going to drop these three and try to scoop up, a, like, a helicarrier or something. Something worth buying. Better. Now... There you go. Now, speaking of, um, people have said in the comments, I checked the YouTube comments, um, why do you reveal your hands early and that's not legal and all that kind of stuff? Because uh, it's fine. Uh, just so we can show the stream, I think it's more exciting to kind of see the hands as they're moving around, especially helpful for new, new that's folks. That's supposed to be a new deck, I think. It is. Where'd it go? It was in my Spider-Man deck. Oh. Sorry. I'll keep what I've got and just shuffle that in. I'd like to get a chance at it. You uh, mentioned Helicarrier, and I was like, hey, wait a second. We only have one of those. <laughs> Joseph Kane saying the correct, we keep the Sky Tear docs tight. See, that's the thing is they've got this Living Rules doc on the website, easy to look at at any moment. You can click on it, and they'll have a new ruling immediately if it, if it matters. Okay, this could be good for me. All right, you ready to rumble? I'm ready to rock and rumble. So I'm going to use my... Uh... Oh, wait, I have to play this. Mm. Oh, do you have the campaign log? That the, big book? Yeah, I think I put it on the bottom of your shelf. Oh, yeah, you did. Um, this is way nicer. <laughs> we did it. We're, we're getting there. Uh, did I, do we have any leftover damage that we should carry over from the last game? We took the obligations. I, I, not this past time. Um, I literally only have written down all of them. All of the weapons. Okay. All of what's, them. What's this thing? Uh, I took a condition... Six health, but then at the end of the campaign, we were healed. I think at the end of round, yeah. the third one. We were fine, because okay, we, we had like a bajillion turns to figure that out. All right, let's play a Maria Hill for one. 
So we each get to draw a card. Oh yeah, hold on. I need to play the game here. I was sorting my cards. Wow. Very nice. Good job. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna take this alter ego action. Take two damage. Spend a wild. Discard this card. Thank you, resourceful. You have done your job. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love White Tiger. They got to think of us a real White Tiger ally. Oh, uh, like a... Just look how... I love the look of that character. I want a White Tiger hero. That's what... I play that Can we get to that point of the game where I mean, we're getting those characters? Uh, I mean, Instead a year, of these a jokers? <laughs> Captain America? A year, a year from now, we'll be flush with White Tigers. And all manner of... Uh, it'll be when I'm living in the, the dream world. <clears throat> John, you remember that old Marvel card? Of the... Uh, it was like Chameleon, I think, and he was like turning into a prisoner. And it was the, the card that had on the back had the stats of the different heroes. And on the front, it was like he was in a prisoner outfit, but then was turning into brick on the wall or something. Absorbing Man. Was that Absorbing Man? Okay, sure. So I said Spider Man, but I don't know that. That's incredible. I love it. Well, I, love it. I guess this is what I did. I was going to try to play Falcon. Forget about Falcon. Um, I'm going to play my shield with Falcon. I'm gonna play a white tiger. Mm. Response after you play white tiger from your hand, spend a wild. Uh, remove three threat from a scheme. I like your I like your style, dude. Here. Just tee it up. Well, I have so much threat removal. It's bananas. Um, Did you find it? I think so. This is an older one. It's not how I was like my my kid brain said that this was it was made out of threats. No, that's... Oh, that is... Who is this? It. Absorbing Man. You guys see this? Oh, he's turning into brick. Yeah, it's like he escaped prison and he's able to, like, hide. I remember... there. It was a, it almost looked exactly I like this. I think it's better. I think it was, like, an upgraded HQ. Yeah, or, it was... A, or memory is just, like... It was a better yeah, version. It no, it else. was... It must have been this, because that's the card template. The 91... It's, like, Fleer or whatever. Fleer? Is that right? I don't know. We've been at this for a while, everybody. I don't mind if you move. John is going to come back here. Um, <laughs> wow, you look bokeh out back there. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely bokeh. He's blurry. Um, so how? Tell me, walk me through your thwart ability. You're over on the other side, technically. If that's relevant. It is so relevant. I need to use this ability. Yeah. Um. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Um. Actually. No, it's still not worth it. I need this tough gone, long story short. So, like, I have so much. Well, I, I, I don't intend to do any. Okay. Does that help you? So we need to take this out, for sure. This thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's number one. One rule. Actually, maybe not. It gets us an extra minion guaranteed, which I'm not exactly in the mood for. Mm. I think I'm just going to queue them both up. You know, we need something that just kind of, uh, maybe I should just arrow this guy. I'm going to go ahead and recover. And then technically, this has to get to 12. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that crazy? 10% it. I it so much yeah, I mean, too. kid, my rose-colored kid brain, it was like, Perfect. The coolest thing, yeah. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. So here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna stay in alter ego mode. Are you going up? Yeah, probably. So I can't I, shoot arrows as a. I'll have plant. a Maria Hill blocker for you. But I basically want him to thwart a little bit. Okay. So that I have some threat to remove. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna attack or anything. So White Tiger is gonna scheme for th or th remove three. And you're the first player. Mm -hmm. So the next round, I'll have the ally discount on as well. Okay. Uh, Maria Hill is going to remove two. Here? Mm hmm And then I'm just going to pass the turn to you. Okay. All right. So I've I've changed my my game here. He's got Retaliate 1, Sir, Test Subject, Side Scheme, and Reveal It. We did that already. So we just got to say that 2-2. Two, two, Zola's not. It's just going to be a minion swarm, isn't it? Um, okay. Well, first thing I'm going to do is play in Avengers Mansion. A you got the car. Now you got the mansion. Upgrade. One there. 
here and here, I think is correct. I'm, I'm passing on Relentless Assault because the best way I have of knocking off Tough is wasting my, my four attack, uh, which I don't want to do. Now, I will have to get the bow, and I don't want to forget that. Hmm, that could be an issue. Well, either way, I think that's right. So let's go ahead and do... Or do you play She-Hulk instead of the mansion? Knock the tough off. No. I'm going to follow my gut. Draw with the mansion. Now, do you want to get the arrow before you draw, in case you draw the arrow? I have the arrow. OK, great. I am the Senate. OK. Trap it saying, you guys are super fun. First time catching you live, but I've been binge watching a lot of your Marvel Champions content. Well, welcome. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, happy to have you here. Okay, now I need to go get. But really, the white tiger is awesome. Yes, yeah, the card's good. crazy, but like the, I love it. Okay, drop this to go get the bow. I thought you said you had the bow. I said I had the arrow. I would have not. I would have loved to have drawn the bow there. That would have been fine. Just the same difference. Oh, because you have to spend a card to do it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, and then we shuffle every time now after we search the deck. And... Apparently. Good. According to the uh, podcast episode number 82 <laughs> of... I don't even know what podcast. Okay, that's done. And we roll up to super mode. And then I think... I hate to do this. But I think I'm going to. Ah, whatever. Two cards for a Vibranium Arrow. Into the ultimate bio servant. Ignores tough. Wow. That's sweet. shots fired. That opens the door for a three damage attack onto Zola. Four, man. Four damage attack onto Zola. You got that, uh, what's that basic attack upgrade? Yeah, basic attack. So two, three, four. And I discarded combat training, which would be five. So I'll come back into the game with that later. I chose mansion that first turn instead. You know, I, I think that's an okay, okay thing. I'm do. with it. I feel like a turn one mansion is uh, never something I'm going to be complaining about. Okay, and then I get five cards. Ha, <laughs> diggity dang. No retaliate because my arrows have ranged. Oh, yeah. that's right. My arrows were not what I was using. Mm. Yeah, so was Ooh, martial it. law. Boom. Hand size is reduced by one. Well, what's that action? Uh, alter Ego, deal yourself an encounter card, spend a lightning, discard it. Ouch. I'll just play without hand size. I don't need it. <laughs> it's like a handicap. Ooh, this is going to be good. All right. Real good. Uh, threat on, one, two threat, and then after the first thing, which is what we just did, you put a test counter. And then if there are three or more test counters at this point, discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put that into play with the first player. All right. So then we get to the interaction phase. He's going to interact with me first. I'm in alter ego mode. So he's going to scheme for two plus a boost card. Hit me. Four. Four on plus an extra one from this ultimate bio servant. Two. Four. Bonus. One. Then he's going to attack you. He gets a boost card. I can block for you if you'd like. Absolutely. We'll block with Maria Hill. Uh, boost. Place one test on the main scheme. Let's see how this is going to go. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we get a bonus card. I should have gotten a bonus card. Which I'll just grab off the top. Ber Berserker Mutate. What's that do? Quick oh. Strike. He attacks me when he comes into play, but I'm not in uh, hero mode. There's no rulings on that, is there? It's like uh, when I get Baron Zemo. He can't attack me when I'm in alter ego, apparently. Right so he's a two attack, zero, scheme, three, and then that's it. OK. OK. Uh, end of the round. This will pass to you. I'm the first player. And it's party time. Excellent. OK. Well, I'm going to take a card to start off, because I'm down to four, and I don't like that. OK. Four is a tough number. So let's think for a second. 
I probably, I probably am going to end up in alter ego. I'm probably going to end up in here. Okay. We got. So we'll start the right doing the dance, right? Yeah. You got it. Um. Now I do have a squirrel girl. Mm -hmm. So that's relevant. All right. Let me let me think. A free tough removal. Yeah. So. Squirrel Girl hits punches for one. Everything gets hit one. Okay. So let me give me just a second to do this. Okay. And then go here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do then. Oh wait. We didn't we didn't get encounter cards. Oh, we didn't do the encounter stuff. I got my first one, then you get one, then I get another one. Because I got this guy. You ever played this game before? Yes. It's been a while. Seven days. That would have been way easier. It's yeah. Like, that felt really way easy. Mind Ray. Uh, Zola attacks me and I am stunned. Mm. I'm stunned. Hit me. Do I just take this? Do you got any allies that are, that are worthwhile? I don't, I don't think it's worth using her. All right. Two plus two. I'll take four. Well, that changes everything. All right. Mine. I get Zola's Mutate. When reveal this card cards from the top of the encounter deck until a tech attachment is discarded, attach that card to Zola's Mutate. Hmm. First one. Defensive programming. Attach the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy of this attached. If you cannot, this card can surge. Plus two hit points. So it would be him. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we get to do the fun stuff. Now we get to do the fun stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm stunned. That's fun. So I'm going to clear the stun. And you're going to end up squirrel girling. OK, so I've, I've got a good idea here. So let's go here. Nice. With two. Bill Hall of Heroes. And then I'll have you call on an action. And if you do that after squirrel girl, so I'm going to have to stay in hero mode. OK. You're going to have a blocker? Yep. OK. So the only thing that my plan relies on is you Playing Squirrel Girl and then punching the Bio Servant for one. I can do that. Okay. And then you can clear all three and get three tokens. I can clear these two okay. and do three there. Well, if I could do two there first, then you could clear it. It's at seven right now, yeah. If I could do four you there. You can do four, yeah. This sounds like a job for Captain America. <laughs> Jabimbo. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me look at my math. Oh, plus the points and guard. That matters for you. That's fine. Um, so it's going to cost me one. I could also, as Alex, I could play. Are you going to use the ally discount? Yes. OK. If you're going to use it, then I won't. Mm. Back to being good to be in the land of coffee. <laughs> right? That's funny. I forgot that I. I'm addicted to these drugs. <laughs> Correct. All right, let's play a squirrel girl. Knocking the tough off. One damage here, one damage here, one damage here. Look at that value. So value. You, need, you need one more here. Do you want to grab the allies this turn? It wouldn't do anything for me. It not, I don't but, think so. Okay. I may end up getting rid of that. Uh, so she'll do one. Actually, wait. Let me rethink my math. I'm going to flip over. I'm going to play uh, lead from the front on myself. Oh, hello. So you need, basically, you need them to have what? Three health left? Three health left, yeah. So if I do three here, he's going to have three left. Mm -hmm. So cap will punch for three. I feel like we're playing that side scrolly game right now. <laughs> it's like we're just. Setting him up. Let's um, use the special move. And then, technically, just one of the bio servant will get it done. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I have to hit him for two. It's my my only. Oh, because you're pop. You're pop. Yep. Call on an action. Uh, call on an action. Playing explosive arrow, exhaust, Hawkeye's bow. Three damage to the villain and each minion engaged with that player. Man. It is not an attack, so there's no retaliate, so this time it's good. 
And I'll take three counters on Hall of Heroes because me is an arrow. That is phenomenal. There's nobody that else is, that shot that arrow. That is such great value. It's hard to express. Yeah, this is going to be a good Hall of Heroes game. Uh, White Tiger is going to go ahead and remove four threat if she can. Do we want to do this before we do that? It's four threat. Four threat? What do you mean? She's got. I'm removing four right now. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, I just mean it'll put another minion out. If it's... It would go to me. It would go to me, so the explosive arrow wouldn't matter. All right. So don't worry about it. Okay, great. Uh, Zach, Zach and I are on the same page there. And then I could go for max value, but instead I'm going to do this. I'm going to first aid my white tiger. Mm, yeah. To buy two more turns you of mean that. Pay one for six threat removal. Yes, that is I what think I'm going to do. That's okay. Um, and then that'll be that'll be it. Okay. Excellent, excellent. So multiple attacks here will be a problem, but otherwise we're okay. It's fine. I, I, If I have to send White Tiger, I can, and I can also just straight up block send it. Send it! All right, so first thing, we're going to get a third time counter, so this is going to click off, and we bit discard. Let's see. Only get four cards. Until a minion is discarded. You get Zola's Mutate. What's it say? When reveal, discard cards from the top till you get a tech attachment. Neurological implants. What's it say? Plus two scheme, plus two attack, uh, and plus two hit points. Okie dokie. He's like a little mini boss now. All right. And then that's just, uh, then we get two threat on. It's kind of the opposite of what we needed there. That's all right. We got, I got a good card. Okay. Uh, then for our next trick, uh, he's going to interact with us. So starting with you, he's going to attack. All right, so it's a two plus a boost. Oh, and you also have the yeah. Mutate so I know too. that I'm taking four here. So, um, what's the block here? You want to block four, which one with girls? I mean, which which the guaranteed one guaranteed four? Yeah, the guaranteed. I, I think you four. take the risk on the boost card. Just take it to the face. If it's like an advance or something, it's just two. That's way better than taking four, obviously. Well, if it is a three, if it's a two, I'm dead. I have nine hit points. Do you count your plus one over there? No. So if it's a three, I'm dead. Oh, that's a bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can defend. That way I can't die. Unless it's a weird hello attack. Hello. Or well, I can defend one here, and that's... How about we do this first? We know I can survive this four. So I could just take it. That's a guarantee. Mm. There's no variable there. So Squirrel Girl could take the rando. But the chances of that being four are very, very average. I have not seen a four. Average. Oh, a four total? Yeah, that's going to happen. So two boosts probably is about what we should expect. Yeah. And that's essentially what we're dealing with here, two boosts as well. I feel like you take this risk. Don't defend it at all? If, it, if it's a three, we just start over. Hmm. I'm a start over kind of guy. Plenty of time. How many threes are in the discard pile so far? None. Does that mean there's none in the deck or that we haven't seen any? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's that uh, really bad? Exhaustion? <laughs> Can we pop exhaustion up? I want to see how many icons that has. I feel like it's got all the bad stuff on it. Uh, we're playing fast and loose today. Watch out. My Spidey Aggression deck last week got me in Exhaustion's into... one. No, we're... It's fine, dude. Okay, all right, flip it. I'll take it. Two. It's a two. And it's the best two to get in the discard pile. Uh, then Squirrel will block the four. Yeah. Now, if I take if I take any attacks, don't, don't well, let that happen. Bing. We'll, we'll figure our way around that. All right, he's going to attack me. I'm going to let it happen. Two plus a special deal one damage. Oh, my gosh, hold on. The minion never got the upgrade because he was put into play instead of being revealed. My least favorite thing about games. Was this on the top? No, did, I had, it was on the top, yeah. We did the reveal thing. So that should have been the boost card. All right, so we've got a two coming in here. So that flips up. So if he's only a two, then I block with squirrels mm -hmm. against his own, him. Right, and so then, then I take two. It's three total, and then you take that two, and so, then I'm taking the next one. So I was at five, and then I take two from the minion, two, one. Yeah. Uh, concussive blast, deal damage to each character I control. No! <laughs> uh, and then I take two from his thing. 
Plus, I have retaliate. So, what is this? What is it? revealed? It's put into play, not revealed. So, when this is revealed, it has to be an encounter card. Yeah. So, if something else yeah. is triggering it, is when you wouldn't yeah. fire. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then we get the bad cards. You're gonna get a bonus bad card. Why you put this little weird one in here? Oh, that's just you have a you have a yeah. It got it got hidden somewhere. In the move, did you leave it at the old office? No. Gosh. Hold on. My things. I'm gonna reveal these cards. Oh right, shadows of the past now gets revealed, which is hilarious. Oh no. Oh, that that brings in like the just take a bunch of damage cards. Uh oh, that's hilarious. It's trying to find Mockingbird, but it cannot find it. She's kidnapped like a thousand ways from Sunday here. They really had it out for her. What's marked for death is the card. Marked for death, yeah. And then Crossfire comes in and kills me, doesn't he? What's it say? Uh quick strike. Well, two it does two to me. And then with piercing, so I'll take two there. Yeah, you're not dead. And then I'll shuffle these, shuffle these boys in. So beware this sniper shot. Now this is three at any at any point. Three damage at any point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then last card, assault. Villain attacks me. I know who's gonna block this. I need some help here. <laughs> help your friend uh, Clint. All right. Uh, <laughs> Cap's gonna block for three, two plus one. Mm-hmm. Literally one, I block it all, and he gets retaliated. That's nice. Cap's the best. Thanks for that, Shield. You're welcome. Shields versus bows, everybody. Oh, you know what card I got? What's that? Under fire. Oh, my gosh. At least just, it's not three. Just get two. Laser rifle attached to the villain, plus one attack. When he attacks, the attack gains ranged, so that ignores retaliate? Yeah. Yeah. It's good against shields. Rifles have always been great against shields throughout history, some would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then exhaustion. I'm already exhausted, though. <laughs> Gain surge, <laughs> and then I get a berserk mutate. That's fine. Quick strike, punching me for two. He gets retaliated though. That's right. He's laughing now. Mutate. <laughs> uh, first player token passes. All right. Done. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run away. I mean, maybe this is the time to pop those adrenal stems, huh? Man, I still don't have that dumb uh, lightning bolt to get rid of this martial law. Huh. Let me think about this. Tell me how how good or bad your turn's going to be. Um, and then if it's not bad, I'll take the Avengers Mansion card and try to get a card to get rid of my martial law obligation here. <clears throat> and then I think I'll save Hall of Heroes until the next go-round. Are you flipping down? Yeah. I'm going to run away for a while. Is now the time to get the allies? Do you need it? Well, I could take a turn where I actually roll to Alter Ego, recover a bunch, take the Hall of Heroes cards, and then probably play at least one ally in a downtime. And we have, a, we have literally, if I flip down, this is the zero scheme. Mm -hmm. And we have three minions queued up for you to load the heroes back up with. In fact, I'll kill that mutate. This round? Yeah. Then I might not flip down. Well, no, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. So I think what I'll do is roll down, use Hall of Heroes, play downtime, recover, and then potentially play uh, Mockingbird if we want to go ahead and get this out of the way. I think we will. I'm also going to do some work really quick. And then I got to eventually get rid of all these dumb guys but martial law is my biggest problem all right let's just get let's get rid of some stuff i'm gonna use white tiger we're gonna clear this thanks oh nothing up nothing else she's my wild for uh martial law <clears throat> um then if you need a mansion let me know because i'm gonna get three cards this turn so if that really changes your uh if it change your direction doesn't. Not at all. Nah. Okay. I'm going to take it then. All right. What's up, Anders from, from Denmark? <gasps> Cardi. Exactly what I needed. 
Uh, I'm gonna. I can do this all day with Cat. So he's at what? Three thwart. That's good. Yeah. Mm. He's gonna go ahead and thwart for three here. And me defeating a minion is not my ally, right? That's right. Even if I feel like I'm like really connected to my allies. Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> uh, let's flip yeah. down. One flesh, my wife and I. I'm gonna use my ally discount to play us one. Agent thirteen. Uh, to remove two. Let's go ahead and do two here. Then she's gonna remove two here. We removed all these time counters. Is that where the minion came from? Yeah. Exactly. Then I'm gonna play Steve's apartment. I'm gonna recover one and draw a card. And that's all fine and dandy. Okay, your turn. That that that's great. Great turn, really. This is a threat removing kind of cap. Um, all right. I can't. Uh, I can't resist this. What up, Daniel? Welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and do it while I got it. I can't resist it. I can't resist. I can't quit this. You can't do that. Uh, let's shoot a cable error on my way out. Remove three here. Mm, yeah. Why not? Yeah. And then let's roll down. Let's use Holly Heroes to draw three. Oh, Ooh. prison. The Hydra very, prison goes down. Very the good. <clears throat> nice. Ah, uh, that's so. These are all so such good cards. Um, Welcome to Clint Town. Let's alter ego. Deal myself an encounter card. Mm -hmm. Spend a resource. A. Uh, Lightning resource to discard that, so I get my normal hand again. Let's go downtime. Downtime. That's a good time Chase for it. Down. Yeah. Let's recover for five. Five is a much bigger number than three. It's so it's so much better. It's almost a hundred percent better. Sixty-six <clears> percent. <throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> for those keeping score, huh? Okay, and then let's see. We've got these need to go. Let's do. Let's see. No scheme over there, so that's not going to matter. Right. All right. Let's play Valkyrie with strength. And as much as I don't want to do this, yeah. Who's more important? Do you think there's anything that that triggers off Hydra or mutates stuff? We've seen a lot of mutate keyword. I mean, I'll bet there's something in there that does it. I mean, surely. Don't call me surely. Oh yeah, removed from game. Yeah, it's up there. We did I, it. I got hey, congrats. Congrats. We did it well. Yeah, nothing in the discard pile references it, but surely something does. <clears throat> All right. I want to play the Quinn carry because I'm a man of value. So unfortunately, I'm going to drop Mockingbird. That's going to get me the lightning resource to do three damage. So I'll do three here, mm -hmm. and then I'll punch for two. Get rid of this thing and get another counter. Oh, no, okay. I don't get a counter, technically, do I? That's right. So dumb. <clears throat> if you want to leave him and just queue him up. That maybe is better, isn't it? Because, like, the scheme. What's two, I, what's two scheme? Seriously, I have scheme in six area codes right now. Okay, six different area codes. So if I do, let's say I do three here and then swing two here, and both of these are have two remaining. Yeah, is that the right number? I mean, then Valkyrie can kill one. More importantly, though, is if you draw another arrow, it does arrow to do three it, to everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it like that. We'll do three on this thing. We'll do two on this thing, and then one to Valkyrie because I swung. Wait, we're swinging. Okay. Ready okay. everything? Yep. Draw and party. Draw and party. Get my full hand size now. That's nice. This is going to be a beastly turn. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We ready to roll? Oh, this is good. Put the time counter This on. is good. Put two thread here. And then he's going to interact with me because I'm the first player. He's a scheming. Two plus a boost card of one. Putting three on, if you would. Three on. And then old Berserk Mutate doesn't do anything. Three on. And then did you get this already? I put that there, yeah. Okay. 
You got it. Zola's scheming against you. Against me. One, two, plus star. Shuffle Zola's mutate into the encounter deck. <laughs> so Don't two. mind that at all. One, and one. And then your uh, little minions do something. Scheme, well. scheme. One, and one. Okay, what are we at? Nine and 12? Mm hmm. That's pretty close. Okay, then we get our bag cards. I get one, you get one, and I get a bonus one. So we're basically playing heroic this round. We just you like it. Ultimate Bio Servant. He's tough. There's a lot of minions here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I just saw something. Uh -huh. <laughs> then we get Gang Up. All three of those card game search. Okay, I thought I was in hero for a second. Yeah, you were about all to take me. a bajillion. Like, oh, no. Concussive Blast, when revealed, deal one damage to each friendly character. Oh, no. White Tiger. Be gone. You know what, though? It's really good. What's that? Make the call with the zero cost allies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Neurological implants, the minion with the most remaining hit points. Uh, who is that? I've got two here, two here, two there, four here. Four there. The ultimate bio servant is a big, big bio servant. Defensive program, you test him in with the most remaining hit points, plus two hit points and guard. Oh, sweet. So he's a eight, eight with guard and. Wait, does this give him life as well? Yeah, all of them give him plus two. So yeah, he's an eight with. I see how this tough works. Guard. We gotta dunk this guy. Yeah, we need to dunk him quick. <clears throat> okay. Well, Zola's only at eighteen. Somehow, been doing some work there, ain't I? Uh, you you did a couple punches earlier. Okay. Anyways. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I got friendly characters too, man. All friendly characters on that crossfire thing. Is that what that says? Yeah, one damage to each friendly character. Am I a friendly character? I don't know. I'm not against you, right? I'm gotta be some kind you're of. You're not. Friendly. You're not unfriendly. Here you go. First player, it's you. You get an ally discount too. That was it. That was it. I mean, that was it. <laughs> Do you have allies? I don't have any. I currently don't. I wish you did. I did. Uh, I let's, did let's do Steve's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, value. Hmm. Mm okay. Uh, before you do anything. Yep. I'm gonna make the call for Maria Hill. Oh, you blessed creature. Now, I could also do Squirrel Girl instead. No. It's it's Marie Hill. We're going to Marie Hill. Marie Hill got the Dillo. Oh, my goodness. Say it ain't so. Holy macaroni. Okay, we're working on a turn now, man. This turn's going to be hot. Woo. Okay. Yeah, I mean, somebody fanned me. <laughs> These zero cost allies are bazonkers. No. Okay, first things first. Recover for five. Yeah, classic. Load up that Holly Hero, mm. baby. Yes, that is what's happening. We're going to flip. It's Mighty Morphin Rampant time. How are you on Avengers Mansion? Does that, uh, how, how does that impact your, your business? Do you want to do that before Maria? Uh, See if you get an ally? Th that doesn't get rid of that. Are you sure? We learned it. Yep. It's not played. It's put into play. Yeah. Yeah. They clarified it for us. Yep. Um, no. I really... I am going to have too many allies in play. Do you want more cards? I don't need it. Unless you don't... Ah, uh, you know what? It will... Basically, I'm building the Tony Hawk ramp this turn. I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's the quiver. Well, would you look at that? What more can you ask for, really? Daniel's saying, Zach, I took your Spider-Man deck and went for expert after your solo stream. Want to know the outcome? Of course. How'd it go? I think that deck is fantastic. I love it. Okay, first things first. Quinn Carrier coming in for three with a genius. Genius? Genius. <clears throat> man, you're stacked. I'm stacks on stacks, man. You feel like we're about to just push Zola over? That's how I feel. Just like, I'm not going to waste this Quinn Carrier on this. So I've got a couple of things that I'm... So I'll do this. And then... I'll do... This. All right, give me just a second. You're good, man. It's funny because now I have to play that Quiver. 
Alan saying I stalled on Zola with Spider Man. I may have to try out the aggression deck. Yeah, it's I love it. Okay. I think I'll be able to do this. I think I'll be able to do this. Okay. Or this is the kind of situation where you just go get that arrow. No funny business needed. Uh great. So let's plan on that working. Three, three, three. The, you got some you got a situation here. I'm not worried about it. Okay. You like how calmly I said that? Mm hmm You really filled me with confidence. Good. So if I do this, is that wait. I only have two of every arrow, is that correct? Does that seem right? Two of every arrow? I've never even Are played you Hawkeye. Hawkeye. I have no idea what's in that deck. I think I only have two of every arrow. Have you already used two of that one? The vibranium. Yeah, yeah, mm. two, two in the of the explosive. You don't have a nice way to go get it somehow. I have the quiver, but it's only the top five. Oh. Only, only two. Yes, yeah, says Thomas. Okay, so I might do the one thing that is insane. I might actually use the quiver as a resource. Although, assuming it hits an arrow, that can be the resource. So that's really silly, isn't it? We're back. We're back. Don't worry, we're not crazy yet. I am going to drop endurance though. All right, Quiver, getting paid for with Endurance. Let's use that Quiver. And before I do this, I'm going to make sure I actually have arrows in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 10, right? I think there's 10. Is that right? Two electric, two vibranium, two explosive. Yeah, two cable, two sonic. Good. Got one of them. Okay, a cable or a sonic arrow, neither of them are going to matter. Take this. Isn't the one knock off the tough over here and do damage? No. Okay. One confuses and one gets rid of thwart. All right. Or gets rid of, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, don't look now. About to go down. It's going down. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go. Battle Fury. Using a cable arrow to pay for it. I learned from my buddy Thor on this one. Let's go Quinn Carrier and a Hella Carrier to play Relentless Assault. The Wild's going to cover the mighty resource on that. Mm -hmm. Five here with Overkill. So two, three to the main villain. Oh, people are saying, can you not use the arrow on the quiver as a resource? Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, you can't, right? It doesn't go into hand. It goes on the quiver, doesn't it? All right, so instead of that sonic arrow nonsense, I'm going to use the quiver instead. All right. Boom. Just to make a crazy, just to do crazy Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. I'm here to be crazy. <laughs> okay. So use the quiver to pay for Relentless Assault instead of the cable arrow. That gets rid of that guy. I'm going to trigger Battle Fury, attack and defeat a minion. Stand up, take a damage. I'm going to get one counter for getting rid of that minion. Then Hawkeye is going to roll in on Crossfire. Two there. Get you another token. Get another counter. And then Valkyrie, if you'd like, can punch at this guy or can knock this guy out. You may as well knock this guy. All right, knocked out. Or I can save to block, which is relevant. Probably more relevant than anything. Yeah, I agree. I'll In fact, this. I'll probably block this guy. If he's here. Unless, oh, that's what I like. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Love that. All right, mine? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do that. And that. So I may as well. Let's play downtime. There it is. Let's recover. <laughs> Flip. I'm going to use Agent 13 to knock the tough off of this guy. 
You want Valkyrie? I can knock Actually, this out too if you'd rather. Um, I feel like not getting an extra card is pretty I, good. I'm gonna deal with that. Okay. Uh, before I do this, Captain actually, here. Yeah. let's play Fearless Determination. Oh, you drew a good card. That wasn't in the plans. <laughs> Fearless Determination. <laughs> What's up, Quintinator75 saying, just got me and my dad our first set of here, uh, hero tokens. Can't wait to try these bad boys out. They look amazing. Thank you so much. I spent a lot of time on those on those bad boys. It was a labor of love, I assure you. Oh my goodness. Dude, next round I'm gonna win the game. I was hoping to get a I'm hoping I can get a third Hall of Heroes counter next turn. Alright. Uh she had two damage on her. Let's knock off the tough so she goes away. Then I'm gonna play Electra for free. After Whoa. you play Electra, I can spend a physical resource to do three damage. Mm. Then she'll swing for three. Mm. Electra, what's up? Woo! Then and he's at plus two thwart, technically. One for fearless, one for basic. Uh, for basic, and I played two fearless determination. So he's plus three. Yeah. Currently. Ooh, thwarting for five. Captain Jabimbo. He's, he's a monster. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the call for a white tiger. And I can't use her ability, which is fine. This is like... Um... She's going to remove three thwart here. Mm -hmm. And then... How do you want it? Well, I think the smartest thing for me to do is I can do this all day and punch him, even though I could remove five threat. Um, you still got Maria, too, don't you? Yeah. We're going to get rid of this. That's what I'm going to do with Maria. And then that means I'm going to get a minion, which is good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove that. Let's do that now and see what, what minion we're dealing with here. Discard. There goes your obligation. Thanks. Ultimate bio servant. Hmm. Toughness. And then I am going to, I can do this all day. The card I drew that I was nervous about using for that was Avengers Assemble. Because mm -hmm. next round, Avengers Assemble will be like. Well, oh, they're yeah. not Avengers, no, they're so not it doesn't Avengers. work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then I'll just punch here. And uh, into the round. And I have three allies just in case. Yeah, very nice. Very nice leadership. Doing his thing. All right, so we're ramped pretty well here, too. I've got a mansion and a carrier. Yeah, I've got pretty much everything built. And I also... In the Hall of Heroes. We're at full health, so that's good. Holy macaroni. Five. Yeah, five. Forget all the cards that are in here. Okay, there's the marksman. Wow. Got the wow. cable. We're in, we're in a good spot here. Good Lord spot. Good almighty. spot. All right. Start. We're going to get a time counter plus two. Then he's going to interact with you first. He's attacking for three. Attacking for three? I think we block with both our allies, right? Yeah. That's fine with me. So yeah, you block five. Thanks, Dockery. Maria Hill. Three, four. Thanks for playing. You got a reshuffle? No, you don't have a reshuffle kind of. I do soon, so I need to make sure anything that I want in my deck is off is the table there. here. Uh, then we get our encounter card. Only one. You're first. First encounter card is Zola's Mutate. When revealed, discard cards from the top until we get an attachment. Tech. Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I want to play the card called Technological Enhancements. It's not. It's not tech. It's not enhancement. There you go. What is it? Defensive programming, uh, plus two hit points and guard. Okay. My and card. also plus one attack because he's the mutate. No wait, not that. Exosuit attached to the villain. He's plus one plus one. I have to spend one of each type to get rid of it. It's time to just bury him. Uh, do these things fall off when he goes up? They mm -hmm. they don't do that. They stay. Uh, end of the round. The token passes. Did we miss something? Because that seems way easy. We put cool. the token here? Yep. Token. So the main thing is he attacked us both. We had allies to block. Mm -hmm. And then we each only got one card. You yeah. had an extra one last time, and I had an extra one because the thing was out. Skips the power glove as attachment. Was there a power glove in there? Power glove. Energy shield. No. 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 I'll make sure. Power gauntlets. Experimental weapon. It's not a tech upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Didn't skip it at all. Jake, thanks for thanks for checking in. All right, well, time to 
It's time for choosing. Time to go ham. Let's play Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. And I'll discard a wild to draw two cards. This is this is like cheating. It is. It's like, like we just got the game genie plugged in on this leadership I, hero ally. Nonsense. I feel bad about how good it is, <laughs> but I don't feel bad about. Oh, minus is attack. Hold on, uh, we missed this. Oh yeah, so I uh, take a two, but he takes one back. I'll take one here, and this guy wasn't out yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you can knock the tough off here, that's really great. You want another card? I don't. I really just don't need it. Uh, it. Maybe I do okay. need it. I'll wait. I. I. It would. It would get my helmet out just in case, I guess. Which is not necessary. I don't need it. I feel like you could do something actually productive with it, and I'm just using random cards. I like what that. I will do though is play a lead from the front. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Okay. Oh, somebody call the doctor. So Cap's at four. I can just clear the threat, and then I can let them do the rest of the work. Although he's at three attack, and the Electra, or this is, I should scheme here once. So she'll remove four. Golly. Cap will remove four. We will, uh, I can do this all day. Yes, we have no bananas. And then he has retaliate. So, is it time to bury? That's sort of where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to swing for three and take one. Do you have any damage, big damage you need done? Like nope. he's, he's a seven. I mean, you can do seven there. Yeah, bring it on. Because, like, my allies will take retaliate, which doesn't seem worth it. I literally have seven sitting here. Unless you need to knock a minion out. You only need to kill one minion, though. I only need to kill one, and, and right. I can I'll do figure seven this out. I'm doing seven to that one guy. That seems good. And then uh, I'll let you figure the rest out. <laughs> uh, do I want to drop down? If you do, do you play a minion already this turn? I haven't played. I did play an ally. You yeah, play an ally. Because I played minion. Yeah. Um, would I rather him... I feel like I, I would rather him scheme than be able to attack me. Actually, do that because I'm going to confuse him. Okay, and I'll go ahead and Steve's apartment. Do you need an extra card to play something? You're no, scared? I just drew a first aid and I have a re an extra card. Oh. In hand. So, do I want damage or my, oh my threat? Probably damage at this point. You going to be clearing Hawkeye? Let's go to here. And now it's you. Just kidding. That's a silly play. All right, let's Avengers Mansion because it feels good to be home. <clears throat> Elmar saying, will you be uploading the deck list after the stream once again? Well, uh, maybe. I, I don't know if we ever posted these decks. I don't think so. People kept asking about your Hawkeye deck. And I told them I would tell you. So here we are. I'm telling you. Well, it's the first run. I don't even know if it's any good. Feels good. It feels good. If it feels good, it is yoga. <laughs> is that from? That's an old YouTube joke that we have running around. It was that Yoga by Adrian was the YouTube channel. It's actually quite good. She's uh, she's fantastic, uh, like the perfect level of serious, but like not serious. She's like serious about the craft, but like also but realize, human. yeah. Um, you can go one of two directions with you. You have to go fully like Hindu serious, yeah, or you have to go like fully um, laid back. You can't do that middle ground where it's like half the time you're playing like Mariah Carey and the other half you're like Namasteing me. It doesn't yeah. work. Um, but she said one time, if it feels good, remember, if it feels good, it's yoga. And I thought that was hilarious. As somebody who has studied Eastern philosophy, uh, it's like anti -Eastern many philosophy. people would disagree with that assessment of yoga. Yes. Something about suffering. Anything that feels good, it's yoga. No, it's not. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any wild resources I need that are relevant. I've got fancy things I can do. And then I've got... Probably good things that I can do. Dude, I am so all about these zero cost allies. Not just because they're zero cost, oh, but like, yeah. look at them. They look yeah, awesome. Yeah, what you're up to is uh, troubling. <laughs> I think we're going to need it. You will need it. All right, let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I feed in it. <laughs> Quinn Carrier, Bank Cat. expert marksman. All right, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. 
I really just want to kill that bio servant, but there's no real good way to do it. I mean, I can dogpile next round. Really, I just need to get it like within within one or two, so you can. You know, I've got. I've got. Oh. Oh. Hold on a second. All right. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So if we do this, and then we do that, well, that that's interesting, isn't it? He's got retaliate. Yeah, built in. It's, unless you have range stuff. I do. That ignores retaliate. I have, I have these. I have these arrows. <laughs> it's like you were built for him. All right, we can drop a sonic arrow, and that would cost me one. Let's just use that there. Okay. You more of an Ant Man guy or a Wasp kind of guy? I don't know. Did we suss that out yet? Nothing has been sussed. We can do that. And then it really is about the card that you draw, isn't it? See, because there's a piece of me that wants to go to three counters, flip down to Alter Ego, yeah. draw three cards, flip up into Hero with just the turn. I mean, I'm going to have the same turn, right? Mm hmm. But that's, if you confuse him once, that's really strong. He's going to put one threat worth on. Yeah. And then, like, I will just eviscerate that. So it seems like my play here is confuse the thing and then kill the thing. So confuse the thing. I love the sound of it. Uh, kill the thing. Which is a bummer, because I want to draw one card from this press the advantage. I could kill the thing. And then hold on to the thing. I'll hold on to Spider Girl. Yeah, that seems fun. Come into the round, dancing. All right, let's use Expert Marksman plus a Sentry, Sonic Arrow, three damage and confuse onto the villain. Boom. Roasted. Uh, then let's press the advantage onto the Ultimate Bio Servant. Deal two damage. Just going to clear his stun. Mm. And then Hawkeye will go in for four for the kill. He doesn't have any oh, retaliate or anything, does he? Just tough. Just tough. Not tough there. Because that Hall of Heroes is paying dividends. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and flip down. I think anytime you have a card that does three to a bunch of stuff all at once, Hall of Heroes is like suspiciously good. You mean like anything that's a thousand times better than Lightning Strike somehow? I thought that was just all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Got him. All right. Got you, Caleb. End of the round. Draw our hands and enter the end game. We're in the end game now. Hot diggity dang. Give me an encounter card, would you? Dude. This just Take got care, Daniel. Real. Yeah, get more than five hours of sleep, everybody. It's so important. It's it's hard to do, I know. Okay, especially because um certain brain types or, or personality types. You feel like when you're awake, you know, you just kinda wanna get things done, be productive, etc. Um it's really important. I it's hard. My sleep, my sleep uh, program is not great. Probably because of all this coffee I drink for all of you. Because how can you be entertaining unless you're just jacked out of your mind? I stumbled onto some of our old unboxings. Uh, it, I went back to make sure the Arkham unboxing we did on Friday was working. And it was like, you know, under, it was like uh, Imperial Assault unboxing or something. Mm -hmm. I clicked and there was an uncomfortable energy to those videos. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> All right. Hopefully uh, we fixed it. We did. First thing, we're going to get a third time counter. So the only we're thing gonna uncomfortable here is our play. Flip till we get a minion. And if we run out of deck, then boo-hoo. Also, two threat on. <laughs> Jake, that's hilarious. I, on the other hand, stay wait because I don't want to get things done. Did you give me an encounter card already? For what? I said to do it. But my deck ran out. Hold on. It's like talking to my grandma. That's Thank you. Card. So then this got to the third time counter. Okay. So then I flipped, there were no minions left in the deck, so it stops. Uh, yeah, it does. Who's laughing now, we Zola? Get, we get a you acceleration square counter. square-headed chest robot. That's for you. What's up with Zola? Why, what, what's the story here? It looks like a Dragon Ball Z villain. So basically, Zola is the scientist that is works like the number two for Red Skull. Mm. And they were originally around like during World War II, of course. And then right. he basically creates a program to put himself in a robot. Mm. And so that Classic is the robot, the robot he created. And this goes on. 
What up, David Whitfield? Good morning, David. I had a great, great break. Thank you for, for uh, asking. Absolutely right. great. Uh, then he's going to interact with us. Starting with me, he attempts to scheme, but he's confused. To confuse the robot. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to scheme against you. We gave him a riddle. Yeah. Three, three plus special if the boost resolves during an attack against Pearson. Hmm. Nope, just three. <laughs> See a crossfire. Three. Mm -hmm. and then we each get the bad cards. The amount of work that you're doing with those allies is, is troubling. It's good. Uh, criminal past, this is for you. I don't mind exhausting Hoover from the game. Bye, Felicia. I mean, discarding the bow and just spending one to get it back and playing it again is really not bad. Um, I agree, because you're going to draw three extra cards. Yeah, so let's just do that. And you're still standing? Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, now I'm going to draw Exhaustion. Uh, watch, 100% chance that I draw Exhaustion here. No, you shouldn't. We already saw it. Before we were shuffled. Oh, good. It's 100% on in there. Yeah. Unless I stack the deck. Farrah, the Quiver never entered play, unfortunately, because it didn't work like I uh, had thought it did. Concussion Blasters attached to the villain. Retaliate one plus one attack. We have to get rid of that. Retaliate two is too much. That's one too much. And then a Mutate Revealed. Give me a tech upgrade, would you? Boom. Defensive Programming. Garden plus two. Seven hit points with Guard. So let's Mutate. Thank you. Yay. Okay, end of the round. This what, is you, what was your card? I, Nothing? It was your obligation. Oh. So it was just a turn all about you. Well, that's handy. There is an ally discount floating. I'm going to start with three. I'm going to use my apartment. Did this guy... Oh, he doesn't scheme, does he? Mm -mm. He just looks like a dummy. Who's laughing now? If you had a spare card, I can definitely get rid of this thing. But I have to wait till I'm in hero mode, you know? Why do I have the Avengers Tower? We did that on purpose, right? Oh, because all my things are Avengers. Your built-in ally is an Avenger. Oh, we did it. We did it so on purpose. Um, You want an extra card, you said. It's about time you hang out in the mansion. All right, yeah, thanks. Interesting, interesting. Well, I know I'm going to go to hero mode because I want to do something. So we'll start there. Easy. Okay. Now the next move is probably kill the mutate. Kill the mutate. Is there anything that would give us extra minions right now? No, there's not. Mm -mm. Or one to bury Zola this turn? I think it's time to start doing the work. Okay. All right, then let's do probably Valkyrie. Probably Valkyrie. Well, I, you know, I'm here to keep ramping, I guess. We were ramping. Wind Carrier plus... I don't think Chase Them Down is going to be of much value here because it's two threat. I feel like you're going to remove like a bajillion threat, so yeah. I'm not even going to waste my time. You're not wrong. Avengers Tower is here. Let's go. I kind of want a She Hawk here. I guess I should do my turn. One, two, three. Valkyrie, that's seven, six, five, four. Three, two, oh, nine. Then I don't know the numbers. We slap. David's saying, Steve, you need to spend a card for your bow. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I might not launch an arrow this turn. I've only got the electric arrow. I feel like I should save it. What's it do? Just the three to everything. Mm. Yeah, that's not... It's not worth launching, is it? I don't think so. Wow, I've got a lot of electricity in here. I do feel like Thor. No wonder my deck is so good with Thor. Well, this is waiting for you, if you want it. Yeah. The extra. I have to get rid of the retaliator. My allies get... Yeah. Buttery. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, is that really... I can get rid of that one if I need to. I ha I ha literally have the cards to make it happen. He's got the cards. Well, let me look at what this would look like. We would play this and this, and then we would do... 
Okay, so either way, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Just do five right to it. Let's play Valkyrie. Mm. Hey now. Minus one for Avengers Sour. Minus one from Steve. Minus one from Steve. And one final, because we're just going to do two to it. Doesn't matter, because I've got a Relentless Assault coming in. Nice. I'm going to pay two for that. Let's do it. Should I hold? Do you think I should hold that electric arrow? Probably. I'm not going to. Sorry. I believe in you. Two for that. So She Hawk is gone. Zola's so Mutate is gone. Get rid of that guy. One on all Last heroes. Legions. Then we'll discard Electric Arrow and Battle Fury to get rid of the Concussion Blasters. Nice. And then Valkyrie can punch uh, where desired or one thwart. It's kind of a waste of time. Does he have retaliate? Yeah. He does. So let's you can get use... this thing. Well, you're going to retaliate against it, aren't you? With Steve? With the shield? Yeah, that's and just true. Blow that's it true. Up. Yep, yep. So let's use She Hawk. So let's have Valkyrie do two to that minion mm -hmm. and let's use She Hawk to pay for Relentless. So two will go over with Overkill. Okay, cool. It's the easiest way to solve that math riddle. Okay. These are gone. There's that. All right. He's got what? Seven? Let's go ahead and flip. Captain Jabimbo. Retaliate one. Let's look. Electric Row is three in a stun. That's right. Don't need the bow. Who needs a bow? I'm not shooting arrows. It'll be there whenever I need it later. Let's play uh, Super Soldier Serum. Why not? Uh, let's use it and spend one for a rapid response. Then this is just spend money to get rid of it. That's not bad. Yeah. This is also just spend money to get rid of it. I'm in the zone. Auto zone. Two. All right. I have to really think about this. Blocking allies is good. Uh, Electra is going to punch for three. And we'll take a retaliate. Boo! And then I'm going to get ready. And then I will... Oh, you're going to rapid response, Electra? Yeah. That's a boss maneuver right there. Um... But before I do that, Moon Knight is going to punch for two. He's going to go away. I'm Can you play Rapid Response? Not yet. Oh, no, you're not going to use trigger it yet. Um, then Cap is going to punch for two and take one. Flip into Zola three. What's the revealed effect on that? Zola three, when reveal these players, searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and reveals it. Hmm, reveals. Don't put it into play, reveal it. Uh, I'm going to grab. Nope. Get these little Berserk Mutates. Quick Strike for two is nothing for a three, because the more threes we have, the better, because then the arrows can dunk on them. Yeah. Let's see if there's two. I'm at least a turn from launching. Yeah. So Quick Strike, I'll take two, but he'll take one back. I take two. And then he's got, what, 32? And then we're out of here. Hmm. We can maybe get that done, like, a turn this, or two. Yeah, I'm with it. Still has Retaliate 1. I'm going to finish this game out without shooting any arrows. <laughs> Isn't Hawkeye just, like, super strong, too? Can I thwack him with my bow? Is it also, like, a... Uh, he looks like he's pretty built. He is built. Know? Yeah, he's a, he's a big dude. Is it just because he does those weird things like Arrow does in the show? You know those, uh, they have a name for those where you have a bar. You jump in a bar to bar to bar. And you jump yeah. up. Oh, and you, up, you and pull onto the bar the whole yeah, time. Yeah, ladder or whatever. I did that when I was um, climbing. Group. How about we do this? I will use elect. Do you mind if I get rid of all these? No. 
just take them off. The, it's two attacks. It's fine. Well. Yeah, get rid of them uh, all. So Electra's going to punch yours. Okay. And I'll rapid response to bring Electra back in. And then Electra will punch here. Wait, after you play, do you get to play her? You it's after you play from hand. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to punch here. And then... Now um, I'm going to get retaliated. Yeah. Who cares about that one? And then, how about we... I can do this all day. And I'll remove three threat here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to save White Tiger to block. Salmon Ladder, that's right, Jake. Jake's on it. I'm going to use two... I'm going to use a Lightning and a Physical to get rid of this. Nice. Zola in an exosuit. He's like a suit in a suit. A double suit. And then we're done. Suit in a suit. Sounds like Wall Street. I get a bonus encounter card. And I've got five. So then next round, we're just looking for 32 damage. Okay. 32 arrowless damage. <clears throat> oh my. Hilarious. Ah, oh, this is great, man. This is great. Excellent to hear. Actually, this oh, is dude. hilarious. I also have a Bugatti turn. You ready? Yeah. All right. First it's thing, so funny. we get a tech token. Okay. It's, there's a couple to everyone. And then we get three threat. Three? We got an accelerator, accelerator on there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then he's going to attack you. <clears throat> Two plus a boost. No, three plus a boost. Worse it is is six, which is uh, the end of me, so I don't want to do that. Let me just block with the white tiger. Okay. Don't mind that. Uh, three plus deal damage to each character you control. Ah! Is that you? Yeah. Because you do the card? Mm hmm Oh, no. It's okay. And then does the damage go through now? Since no. there's no blocker? I don't think so. She's the one that's blocking. So it's... So if she disappears during the resolution of the boost card, the damage is still blocked? But she's gone, yeah. Huh. Uh, then he's going to attack me. Um, I will allow it. It's three plus a boost of zero. Let's go ahead and shield block. Good gamble there. To get your retaliate on. Take it. Punch back. It goes through, says Joseph. I thought it would. That was rolled in November. Which podcast was yeah, that? You can, you, can, you can reference line 52 from a random blog in uh, so, Romania. It would have been two, I guess? Yeah, two more. And then you'll get retaliated again. But it's really weird, because, like, yeah. I will allow it. Uh, then this guy will punch me for two, and then get retaliated off the board. You took a lot of damage there. We need to take a turn and heal up. Ah, we don't want to go I into the next... To, I have, yeah, we definitely need to We don't want to go into the next Agreed. round but looking like idiots. That was a rules email. It says prepare... <laughs> yeah. I think Caleb put that on his MySpace account, if I remember correctly. <laughs> okay, bad cards. This is for you. This is for me. Let's see what you get. This is when my obligation is supposed to show up. Neurological implants. We got a minion? Nope. If it can, it gains surge. If it can, it gains surge. Great. Burn through those cards. Under fire. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Give me two, baby. Boom. Just churn and burn. Technological enhancements. Insight one. What does that mean? Add one to the thing? Insight. Yeah. Place one test counter on the main scheme. Okay. And under attack. Each player chooses to either place two threat here or deal three damage to their hero. Two threat. I'm going to go with two threat. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to go with two threat, Bob. Bob. All right. My first card is our world, world favorite exhaustion. Surge. Oh, man. Am I going to have to block for you? Shadows of the past. Oh my gosh, here it goes. Let's turn it over. Let's turn it over. Don't you have quick strike there? There's a quick strike. Uh, three. So one, two, three. I have 13 health because of this thing. So I have one health left. Oh my gosh. Uh, then what's that do? Six. In player order, you... <laughs> oh no. Each player discards the top card of the encounter deck, takes one damage for each boost icon this way. Can I block your quick strike? Maybe. If so, you need to. Yeah. Can I, I block the twin strike? Yeah, it's just an attack. You can block it. Is that what it says? Immediately makes an attack against you, right? Is that the idea? Yeah. Yeah, you can block. 
Okay. Uh, Valkyrie's got a wheel. Because there could there could be even yeah Valkyrie will block uh, Baron's Demon. Well, three static. Are you gonna just take it? Hawkeye. So Hawkeye takes three, or Valkyrie. I'm, I'm going to take three to Hawkeye. I've got exhaust to do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. You block one of it, technically. Oh, no, wait. I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. I should just... I'm just... Valkyrie's gone. You got it. Uh, then we get Zola's Experiments. Uh, and player order each player discard the top card of the encounter deck. Oh, yeah, that's take right. Take one damage for each boost. So you first? Yeah. None? None. One. Cool. Then we get Zelda's Experiments. It comes in with six threat, and then any time a minion is play, attach the topmost tech in the discard pile to that minion. We just got dunked on. Okay. Then this passes. I, okay. I took the token. Did we do everything? We did everything. We did everything. Okay. Hawkeye's standing. Things are weird. Got a bunch of uh, things. We got Baron Zemo. I'm going to deal with Zemo. Let's do this. I'm going to make the call for Electra. Let me know if you need that Avengers Mansion. I will let you know. Uh, Electra's going to swing for three. Oh, I can also reduce your next Avenger ally played. Okay. If I end up having one, I'll let yeah, you know. Yeah, I won. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I swung for three, and then I'm going to play... What about her ability? Did you use it? It has to be from hand. Inspiring Presence, which is ready and heal. Mm, it worked. Swing, swing for three again. It worked. Get Zemo out of here, because I can't thwart when he's around either. Uh, I think it's heal time. Yeah, we need we need to heal, but we also don't want to punt this one to the next. Is this the end if we advance? No. It's just worse for us. Uh, under attack I, really doesn't. I can. Well, we'd have to get rid of that first. Yeah. Do you have any thwart kick capacity? I can do. Well, I no. Because I'm in punching mode now. Okay, so we're just letting it go. I think my plan is like do some stuff, roll down to alter ego, but that that would that's almost guaranteed to advance it because it's we, absolutely going to advance. It's going to roll in it. It's going to advance before we even scheme currently, if we don't take any off. Because it's five, it's going up by five. Yeah, we now just I, have some arrows. I can technically take th these away. These? Yeah. But this here? I, I need to flip down. I can get two off of it. Let's just, uh, I can do this all day. I'll go ahead and remove three from this side scheme. Whoops. And then I'll flip down, go to Steve's apartment, heal one, draw a card. So, you need any cards? No. I think I have a clean turn. Taking gonna, the mansion. I'm going to play Cap's Helmet, my insurance policy. And that's your turn. You have mm. a minus one discount as well. I'm going to use it. Jake says, cool. Zemo came as reinforcements for Hydra. How thematic. He is, a, he is a part of the team. Man, I've got so many discounts. Nothing to do with them. Shoot. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I needed Valkyrie in play here. Well, so first off, let's go with Mockingbird. My. Minus one, minus one, minus one. Wow. Mocking free. Value. Mocking free. So then 5 plus 6, that's 11. So then nothing will advance until the scheme. That's probably to our benefit here. Oh, wait. that's This is totally wrong. We had to either choose to put 2 threat here or deal 3 damage to each oh. hero. And we each put threat here. So I took 2 off of that because we I, saw, I thought it was 2 here. Oh. So that's better. That's way better. So then there's 4. Go ahead and put this all the way up to 7. Yeah. Instead of taking any off. I'm going to flip down and recover. Okay. Fair. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. And we're, I think we're just letting that go. It's just go time. It's go time? Yeah. It's go time. 
Does he have retaliate still? Yep. Always and forever. Oh, he's just got normal retaliate. Just built in. It's Wonk's Towns. <laughs> but if you can get rid of this, it's pretty sweet. I think I can do that. What is that? One of each. Okay, well then let me undo the Quinn Carrier. And spend a... Mm -hmm. uh, explosive error going to be worth anything this game? What's the deal? It's the three to everything. And stun. Uh, I might keep it in the... No, this is the it's the AOE. Mm. The the other one's the stun. Okay, so then I will do that. So I'll take a hero action. One for the Quinn Carrier. One for the Lightning. One for the Physical. Fist. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna trade the explosive. Nick, you actually do get the discount because Electra was put into play, not played. Okay, then just for the lulls, um, I'm gonna swing for four on Zola. Okay, take one. But wait, Earth's mightiest heroes get it, Mockingbird to stand up, Hawkeye. Swing for four. Nice. Down to 22. Start swinging. And then I'm going to flip down. Take one for that. And then uh, I suppose it's worth getting the bow and playing it even though I waste a resource. You just queue it up? Because this is a strength. I don't want to spend it on the bow. Yeah. But I've got so much money. Yeah, I don't think money is the problem at this point. Yeah. We'll play the bow. No worries, Nick. There's a lot of little wording interactions on this. We miss them all the time, so you're just part of the club. Okay, done. All right, so everything ready is when we draw. Start there. That'll be good. That'll be Ooh, good. I drew endurance, man. What a great time to draw endurance. Extra health? Yeah. Yeah. Towards the end of the game. And recover, endurance, I'm ready to go for the next game. All right, first we get a tech token, so we're going to get another villain. Discard until we get a minion. Don't mind if we do that. There goes master plan and assault. And then Zilla's experiment says what? After a minion enters play, attach the topmost tech in the discard pile to that minion. Pain inhibitors on an ultimate bio servant. Plus two hit points and retaliate one. He's tough. What's step one of the villain phase? That's Adding where we the add threat. the threat, yeah. So we do two for the framework, three for the acceleration, four, five. Yeah. Five gets added. One, two, three, four, five. Nine out of 12 is a world. Just kidding. Nah, he's going to totally get there un unquestionably. Uh, okay, then he's going to interact with each of us, starting with me. He's oh, only three without the bow. That's right. We need to add two. He's going to scheme for three plus a card. Okay. Make it six. Woo! It advances. What happens? Hopefully we don't just thread out here. It would be funny. I mean, you can't hate it. Oh, we're going to 16. We got nothing but time. All right, when reveal these players, search the encounter discard for a minion, reveals it, encounter deck or the discard pile for a minion. How do we feel about these guys again? Yeah, those are great. And uh, I can't take an attack. You can't either. That's right. No, that's <laughs> right. He's laughing now. Uh, the Mad Doctor, after resolving step one, place the three, uh, same as usual. It comes in with two. That's the only difference here. And then we add two in the test counters, and everybody does the same thing, doesn't it? I assume yep. I didn't read same it all. Yeah. All right. And then my minions are going to scheme. This guy does none. This guy does one. And then he's going to interact with you. All right. Scheme on. Three plus two. Make it five. Oh boy, mm -hmm. 22 damage better be You're ready to go. <laughs> Eight out of 16, hello. Uh, then we get the bad cards. Mm -hmm. Start with me. Assault, he cannot attack. Mind Ray, win revealed in all three go. Uh, Zola schemes, Ooh. you are confused. Hello. Three, shuffle this back into the deck. I like, I like being on the edge of my seat here. Bio servant. 
Uh, go ahead and give it the topmost tech in the discard pile. We need to finish this. Finish him? Yeah, now's the time, isn't it? Whatever that is. Pain inhibitor, same thing. Thankfully, those aren't guard guys. Guard guys. Okay, uh, this token passes to you. Oh, their berserkers do get tech, too. What's the top most? Oh, that one should have been on one of the berserkers. That's an awful side scheme. It's hilarious. Uh, then the next thing would have been this one, which is neurological implants, plus two hit points, and plus two, plus two. And then the last one would have been your guy. Yeah. Just don't give me guard, would you? What's the top most? Uh, no guard. No bagel, no bagel. Plus two hit points. And guard. No? Thanks. Does that have guard? Yeah. That's a program. Oh, sweet. Oh, boy. That's the one thing I didn't want. I know. I literally couldn't do anything about it. But you're up, and you get an ally discount, so how about that? Hmm. You want a card? Oh, and it's plus two threat on the scheme, because he would have had that. Cards matter? Um, let me look. Actually. Let me start here. Steve's apartment. Okay. How much damage can you throw out? That's what I'm ca calculating. Um, so Electra swings, leaves, comes back, swings, swings. So let me do some counters. So she swings, Weaver swing, and yeah. then I play her. She swings, she swings again. Way. Technically, if I have do, 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 do. she swings again, and then I can do I do twenty two. You think I do 22 or are we going to start wriggling? I am a, I'm at 18. Okay. Would an extra card affect your math at all? <clears throat> if you can do all 22, that, that gets rid of a lot of the uh, get rid of a six hit point tough minion before I can do anything calculations. Although I can do that. Um, an extra card on obviously i'm going second if i have the discount it lets me play a squirrel girl you need an avengers discount with the tower that would work yeah um and that would be a one to everything that's scenario. really important and i do 20 damage okay with avengers tower on your side yeah do you need the card as well on top no. of that mm -mm. Mm -mm. all right uh and i'm the first player yeah so i can't play an ally then or I can give you a card instead of the discount. That's right. Let's give you the card. Take it. If you give me the card and the Avengers Tower. You need both. No, I just need one. I just need one. You see one. You see one. You see one. You okay, see great. One. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the same boat, but I feel like your card might be more uh, relevant here. Okay, so Avengers Tower. Um, let's go ahead. It's and... funny. Chat's talking about we might need to break the glass and use our stuff. Yeah. And then... Uh, Prepare saying, nah, it looks like they have this one in hand. So do you need your discount? No. You don't anymore. That's why we I need that. A or B. Avengers Tower plus your discount gets a Hulk into play. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk always gets you sick. <laughs> I love Hulk. <laughs> ah. All right. All right, so Hulk can I just get excited to see him. Hulk, now the thing is, Hulk has to attack the guard minion, right? That's kind of where we are. I mean, he can attack any minion. Mm -hmm. But he why? He can't attack Zola. You know, why would we? Now, the other, if you hit the electric, mm -hmm. then he gets rid of the tough anyway. And I have a lot of electric. But I can't swing at anything um, that matters right now. 
basically is the thing. Yeah, but you may as well punch with like Mockingbird on the top first and then go with the Hulk. Yeah. It's probably best, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably best. Well, you know what? No. Let's Quinn Carrier for the Quiver. Let's use the Quiver. See if we get a Vibranium Arrow. That would just mm. take Answer care of some problem. business. Oh. Oh. What does Vibranium Arrow do? Six damage, and it goes through tough. Pretty handy for a six damage tough minion. We got this. It? This is so <laughs> over. Tyler's saying, play Squirrel Girl first. Knock out the... I, you can't, because I'm going second. Otherwise, I would obviously just play Squirrel Girl. And I, uh, so this goes on to the Quiver. Then we'll use Expert Marksman. Kneel the bow. And use a Sentry. Justin's saying, can't them. Hulk just hit Zola. Guard only prevents an attack. So that, it also prevents Hulk's attack. Kabam! Kaboomers! Why is Ultimate Bio Servant crying? He just got vibranium done. He just got dunked on. Jake says, "Oh, hey, six damage. That seems like the perfect amount. Just, just the perfect amount. Okay, let's start. Let's start messing. I'll get a Holly Heroes counter just so we keep it clean. Actually, dude, now Hulk can swing at a three health cat. You can get the Holly Heroes this turn. Mm, that's true. Probably three, more th damage. Three cards is juicy. Three cards is probably better, isn't it? Than." Uh... Where these are, these are all here actions, so I've got to I've got to be up here. Okay. Anyway. So before all of that nonsense, we've got to recover because mm -hmm. we're not silly. And then probably just we were swinging. Yeah, I'll probably you just start, start punching. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna play endurance. Now you're in Hawkeye, right? Yes, I am in Hawkeye. So recover, play endurance. Flip, then do all the business. Quiver, stuff. marksman, allies, etc. Happened, etc. etc. Hope my math's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's go two on to Zola. Don't forget that retaliate. Two on retaliate. Hopefully, Hulk doesn't knock me off the board here. Three on Zola plus Hulk gone. That's fine. A classic Hawkeye play. Uh, and that's going to be me. All right, so now I just have to do 19. Yeah, now if you can't, uh, I can ready my hero with adrenal stems and, and do another four. So check your math. I'm pretty sure I can. Check your math. I can. <laughs> All right. First thing we'll do, uh, let's swing for three with Electra. The three. She's going to go away. <clears throat> You used my discount, right? I did. Okay, great. Uh, then, let's go ahead and make the call for Electra. My gosh. Let's do three more. This would be very, very challenging without those minions, without those allies. Allies. Yeah. She takes two. Then we will get ready. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to Man, spend you're just, one. You're just, it's disgusting how much you're asking Electra to do here. <laughs> and... Play, Aren't you going to do something yourself? Are a these, rapid response. Any of these things, hero things? You need to be up in here. Not yet. Me? I will when I get to this part. Okay. Yeah, but we'll get there. Um, Dude, you're playing leadership like a boss. It helps when you have the most busted allies in the game. In the game. Uh, ah. We'll go ahead and flip, and then I'll swing for three more. Taking two, we'll rapid response. I see. And then I'll swing for three more. I see. I see. Seven. Electra finally goes away. <clears throat> and then I will do seven damage, I hope. That'd be funny. I'll bust I'll bust these adrenal stems. It's not a not a problem. Let's four. swing for two. Take the edge one. Of my seat here. <laughs> and then we will uh, play Shang-Chi mm. with a wild, so he's stunned. Why not? Uh, he's going to swing for two and take two. 
Then we'll shield toss for four mm. damage into Zola. He's out of here. He's out of here. You don't even need the squirrels. Do you, do you, is there any way you can heal? There's no well, way in there. So I have plus two health. So technically I'm at 13. Mm -hmm. So I've got... And his damage left is what you're recording? health remaining. Oh, okay. How much health do I have? But that's a permanent upgrade, right? Yes, but like it's not factored when you're counting what damage to start with. Really? Yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's not including the upgrades. Right, so health remaining, I have 13 minus 5 is 8. You have 8 so health remaining. So then literally I look at the 11, so I'll start the game with start 3 with damage three. next Okay. Great, uh, hey, that was super fun. Electra, you're so good. What's up, Josh Curtis? Hey, guys, finally made it to a stream. How would you describe this game to a fan of Arkham Horror LCG? Well, it's a really um, good comparison. It it's the so this is the campaign box out of the Rise of Red Skull. This is the first time we've seen an actual campaign. It's it's like a high flying, uh, faster comic booky uh, superhero version of Arkham with a lot less story, a lot less atmosphere, and a lot more. Um, it kind of has the number crunching of Lord of the Rings. A little bit, yeah. With uh, without it being super linear, which I felt like Lord of the Rings had a lot of opportunity to be. Yeah. Um, well, because like in Lord of the Rings, you usually really min-max into a single roll. Mm -hmm. You're either doing damage or removing threat, basically, mm -hmm. in that game. Uh, I would say you're spot on saying like it's faster paced. So like it's a lot easier to jump into a single game. It's not a big, long campaign. Even this campaign, it's just a lot faster. Like we can play this campaign probably all the way through in the time it takes to play two or three Arkham scenarios. Yeah. Um, and it's trying to be more... It feels more like... Uh, of the video game, the side scroller, where like you're each a hero and you just like are going to fight the boss, mm -hmm. and it's just the boss fight though. Yeah, there's that's no spatial the element. The chat's got you on that. No spatial element. That's really important. You don't move around. Yeah. Um, it's just it's it's like a it's like a it's like a ha, it's like an arcade game. <laughs> it's like an arcade game versus an RPG. I mean, like it's Chrono Trigger versus uh, Tekken. You know, it's like that kind De of a definitely. vibe to me. Yeah. Uh, but to me, it's great. I think it's right in the pocket where I would want this game to be. Um, and I feel like this is definitely the kind of game you can play with people. Arkham is a commitment, right? And it's a commitment with a certain group. And so this is just a lot more, it's lighter in every way. In the, in, but not light in like a bad way. Like it's I'm not, not shallow. Using my, yeah, it's not shallow, but it's just less weight. It's really, it's probably, you know, the best thing is, A, do you like Lovecraft or do you like superheroes? If you like them both, continue. You know, it's like one of these maps. But B, do you have a group that can get together at least once a month that's all dedicated to getting together and telling a story? Or do you want to be able to jump in every once in a while and just say, let's play some champions, 45 minutes to an hour, move on to something else? I right? think also, like, would you rather feel like you're a superhero beating up a villain or like you're surviving? Yeah. And like running for your life, right? Like, which do you, would you, it's actually, I think, a really good comparison. Yeah. It's the difference between like watching a movie or watching like a TV show that's got like six seasons, mm -hmm. and then every time you watch the TV show, you need the same people to play or the people the watching. Same people that's to like watch. Arkham, right? Like Game of Thrones, you can't watch it without your wife. Yeah, like you gotta have your group. So that, that's a to me, it's like if you like if you just want a Marvel movie, this is the game. Versus if you want like a, <laughs> you know, three seasons of True Detective that you have like you're watching. I don't know. It's that's not the best example, but you get the idea. <laughs> I like victory. It. Each player engaged with an enemy records they are engaged with an enemy in the campaign log. Oh, I'm engaged with an enemy. We're both engaged with an enemy. If the Hydra Prison side scheme is still in play, I can't imagine a world where that's true. Wait, uh, hold on. I need a pin. You got a pin? I got a pin. See you guys. I'm gonna wait. Uh, LA is saying, "Hey guys, really enjoy the streams, but usually can't watch live. I'm in Europe. I do want to know." I do want you to know that I have two subscriptions from you guys, one for me and one for my friend who lives in Romania. That's awesome. Are you shipping them together, I assume? Uh, or are they shipping separate? If you're shipping separate, you are a true champion for doing that. Uh, either way, we really appreciate it. We love having you here, and our subscribers are literally how we can do everything that we do, including streaming five days a week. So props to you. Ellie's saying, we just started the campaign yesterday remotely. I need to get him his copy of The Rise of Red Skull, but we made it work. Thanks for maintaining the subscription service so well. Well, thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. You got a pen? Shout out to those content subscribers, too. We haven't talked about our content subs I, in a while. I went ham on that last week. Good. good, good I was yeah. really, really love it. Especially Every time in, I look at that number, I get a little just, amazing. Like, just heart warmed. All right, you ready for this? We were engaged, each engaged with an enemy. That happened. Uh, next, if the Hydra Prison was still in play, it wasn't. Engaged, right? Yeah. If the Hydra side scheme is not in play, each player in the hero form. What? Okay, tell me, tell me the first sentence. Wow. Yeah, what? 
If the Hydra Prison side scheme is not in play, it's not. Each player in hero form both <laughs> can replace their basic condition with the improved side. Oh, there's an improved side. I yeah. didn't even really appreciate that. Are you kidding me? Dude, my improved side, so improved thwart upgrade. Response after you defeat a side scheme, exhaust this to draw a card. What's yours do? Yeah, I'm the same. Plus one hit point, plus one attack, defeat a minion, exhaust, draw a card. Man, Thor would be nuts in this. In the campaign. Good for him. Uh, expert campaign only. <laughs> Record each identity's remaining hit points. In the... I have eight health left. Uh, remaining hit points. I had endurance out, so I was at 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm 1 of 12. I have 11 hit points remaining, so I'm full HP. Uh, so I'm going to put zero damage. And you have how much damage coming into this? Uh, three. Three damage. It's ultimately what it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, and then are, are we... So... Are, are we going to keep going? Yeah, let's go, dude. All right, we're going to do I'm, it. I'm feeling fresh, man. Prepare to game says, I'm a subscriber for all three LCGs. Rest in peace, Lord of the Rings. One more standalone. Lord of the Rings, man. That Quite game, a journey. That game around for 20,000 years. All right. Cab says, this is me. I like that he's got his little uh, wings on this one. I, always I love, love those, those wings. little wings. That really it's makes a player happen. that really... T it's when you know you can't take him too seriously. <laughs> Anyways, he says, where's the stone, Zola? And then he responds, the red, the, money, the red Skull, that's right, you said it yourself, dude. <laughs> uh, the Red Skull has it. Mine hair in his fortress. Fortress? In his fortress. It's like a forest and a fortress combined. What was once your precious White House now belongs to the Red Skull. Look at the White House, dude. It's creepy in here. Is that like literally the White House? Yeah, he took it over. Oh. Uh, red Skull says, and in, he's got a nice leather jacket. What progress have you made toward my ultimate design? The scientist randomly says, we'll soon be able to use the stone to conquer the world. Uh, then, who's this? Do we know that I'm guy? Like proving it. Oh, isn't that little, uh, it's not Ant-Man, is it? Who's the little no. green, uh, yellow guy? That's there? one of the villains, right? Absorbing Man, maybe? Oh, yeah, that seems like... Supreme Leader, we're under attack. So we're getting it from the, the villain's perspective. Oh, nice right? art. Look, Cap yelling, Avengers assemble. Uh, and then Red Skull says, keep working. I will deal with the Avengers. Mm hmm. All right, let me get all this sorted, and then we'll get to set up on Red Skull. And we've still got our, our big our big things, our, uh, our upgrades. We do. Now is the time. Although if we use them, they go away. We fail, you know? Yeah, well, we can't fail. Too big to fail? Too big to fail. I, I have... My faith is, is too strong. Apparently, that's uh, Bob the Hydra agent, friend of Deadpool. Thank you, David, for that. I think this looks better than Wirecast did. Do you guys think this looks better? The shot, just the just the quality of the up of the the stream we've got. Man out of time. I think our barren background really says something about us as a as an institution. That we're in the process of making things better. Yeah, or that it's just you know function over uh, function over form. Really, that's where we're at now. It's funny because aesthetics matter so much to all of us. But like the, it's like we're using uh, using system fonts on the website. Mm. It's like let's not make this more ex more weird than it needs to be. Let's just load it fast. There was there's probably a time when we would have not streamed with this background. hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Then the pandemic happened. Yeah, and then twenty twenty, and then it's just about getting it done. I think I don't know. I feel like we have taken a bit of a turn towards. Ex um, I think we value experience, user experience over interface at this point. Over fancy. I think we I think we started out way valuing interface over experience, and now it's like, how can we make it happen fast and simple? That's the question. I'm also asking these questions in my own life, so maybe it's just getting blood over. All right, Mr. Zola, thanks for playing. In the expert campaign rules, if you fail the Red Skull scenario, you lose the campaign. So it, it is, is this is it. I'm gonna have to get some water. Get this is it. get a uh, Snickers. <laughs> no, that would some be art. Get some Arby's. <laughs> we have the meats. <laughs> I think that brand that they failed so spectacularly on the brand front. I get it. Like I understand the pitch. I don't. Where it's like, hey, you know, this is a fast food environment where everybody's serving burgers and chicken, and if you brought in like prime rib and uh, you know pork belly. Uh, 
you would have an a interesting value prop. But the problem is you already have roast beef. Nobody else is doing roast beef aside from that weird lion restaurant. Uh, they Lions literally have whatever. something no one else has. Yeah, and it's RB, roast beef, RBs. I mean, you're there. So just <laughs> focus on the roast beef. But, you know, there's focus some, the some big brain board member. Inspire bought them. Inspire brands. They bought them. They bought Buffalo Wild Wings. They bought Jimmy John's. Beat up. Beat up. They bought Rusty Taco. Questionable name entirely. Uh, and one other one. And that's when all the changes started to happen. That's when the Fire Nation attacked. All right. You ready for this? Yes. All right. Uh, now, after we get set up is when I'm going to get refill my water and stretch okay. and make sure I'm good to go. Because we got to we got to wind down this thing. Red Skull scenario well this number five. You have liberated Zola's Island and disarmed. You mean Ellis Island. And disarmed the Mad Doctor. Don't shuffle that yet. Uh, but the reality gem still eludes you. You learn from Zola that the gem resides with true mastermind, with the true mastermind behind Hydra's ascendancy, the brilliant and nefarious Red Skull. The villain has taken up residence in Washington D.C. and transformed the White House into his personal fortress. But Red Skull's ambition for conquest does not end with the USA. He plans to bind every nation under Hydra rule with the power of the reality gem. His scientists work around the clock to make the necessary modifications to Zola's machine. Once completed, Red Skull will use the reality gem to conquer the whole world. If that happens, nobody will be safe from the types of atrocities you witnessed in Zelda's labs. You cannot allow this to happen. You must defeat Red Skull and use the reality gym to set things right. The villain deck includes Red Skull 2 and 3. But also, I mean, let's just think for a second. If if he succeeds in this, what what is the purpose of any number of nefarious things or experiments he might try to do? Like like what he has he's run out of goals at that point, right? He's he won. He's taken over the world. He's, he took over the world. Yeah. So like wh what's left? Why, you know, why... We gotta stop him from doing that, though. But, like, if he succeeds, why do we assume that he's gonna keep doing all of the bad things that he has to do to take over the world? Once it's done, it's like when you retire and you don't have a job anymore and you just die. There's nothing left to He'll do. take over the yeah. world and be like, well, okay. Well, it's it. sort of like the Batman Joker stuff where it's like, no, nah, I'm not trying to kill you. Well, what would I do without you? What would I do without you? What would I do without you? Yeah. Uh, Encounter deck, Red Skull, Hydra Assault, Okay. Hydra Patrol. Mm. Is that those ones that give you the encounter card afterwards? Yeah. I hate those guys. Let me find it. There it is. The uh, Hydra Soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no. That's Legions of Hydra. We're looking mm -hmm. for Hydra Patrol. Good. There is one Hydra Soldier here. Let me get the Hydra Regular. Yeah, there are Hydra Soldiers for sure. There's a lot of minions here. So, Luckily, uh, I get a card when I kill one. Thor would, or be, or Thor would be super on fire here. Uh, all right, so let me keep reading this. Uh, so we have the Hydra Patrol. We have a standard plus the expert plus our obligations, and we'll see if these experimental weapons are going in. I, assume I, think they they all, I think it said originally, use them for the rest of the campaign. Yeah. Side scheme deck. The setup instructions in Rise Red Skull 1A instructs the players to create the side scheme deck. To do this, search the encounter deck for each side scheme and shuffle them together into their own deck. Okay. This is the side scheme deck. Set it next to the main scheme deck, which we'll get to in a second. Okay. The side, side scheme deck has its own discard pile. When a side scheme is defeated or otherwise discarded, place it in the side scheme discard pile. If a side scheme deck is ever empty, shuffle the side scheme discard pile into the side scheme deck. There's no penalty for doing this. Set up each player searches their deck for all cards of the setup keyword. Shuffle each experimental weapon in the encounter deck. So I'll put those in. Two, three, four, five, six. I have seven side schemes. Does seem right? Yeah. One for the modular and... Whatever was in the main deck. And all the main decks have a lot of them. All right, shuffle each experiment. We did that. So that's from scenario one. Then we place X threat counters on the main scheme, where X is the number of delay counters recorded in the campaign log. Okay. X threat. Number of delay counters place X, is four. Place X per player instead of you're playing on an expert. So we get eight. So eight. We start with eight. Happy, but you got some work to do, buddy. Um, expert campaign only. Set each player's hit points to their remaining hit point value recorded in the campaign log. Uh, so... That's where we would set it based on our actual health. I've got um, all remaining. Expert only. Each player may add one random obligation to heal. We won't do that. Expert that campaign only. Team? Each player who is recorded as being engaged with an enemy deals themselves an encounter card. So I'm going to shuffle these up really good. Uh, do we have any modular sets aside from what it's telling us to do? Mm -hmm. Do we have any random ones? Or nope. Any? Technically, the modular set you choose can be random. But we're going to go But it with... suggested the... Yeah. <clears throat> so basically... The weapons came from the first scenario. The delay counters from the second scenario determine how many starting threat we have. The fact that we had a minion engaged with us gives us an encounter card. 
And then when it said to do the side scheme deck, is that from the entire encounter deck or is that just from the Red Skull I think it's from everything. Stuff? So the, the one that was brought in from the modular goes in there too? Yeah. Okay. Expert campaign only if the players lose this game, Red Skull conquers the world and the players lose. Okay. Victory? I won't tell you. Okay. And does all that happen before we do the main scheme sides, the main scheme yeah. stuff? I mean, this is all, all this is happening in a single phase. Set up, uh, put the red house into play. Is that a side scheme? Oh, probably. Yeah. Just shuffle all this. Yep, red house into play. Uh, okay, red house says, Red Skull cannot take damage. When a character thwarts the side scheme, they may use their attack instead of their thwart. Well, that's good for Hawkeye. Two, four, six. So we can attack the red house. Okay, put the red house into play. Shuffle every other side scheme into the side scheme encounter deck. Yep, that was one of those, oh, whatever. Uh, set the sleeper aside and out of play. Is the sleeper one of your cards? No, I hope not. It seems like an, a big enemy or something. Don't look at it. That's right. Uh, that's 1A. This is the, called the Rise of Red Skull. Is the uh, scheme. The main scheme, 1B. Red Skull plans to conquer the world with the power of the reality stone. He uses his strategic genius to keep you busy while he works towards his goal. Reaction, after resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. Okay, side scheme every turn. Yep. Mm. Then Red Skull, stage two. Schemes for three attacks for one. He gets plus one attack for each side scheme in play. Mm -hmm. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. So we're going to start with two encounter cards. Mm -hmm. And then we can't damage him? Can't damage him until the red house is, is busted. And he starts with 32 health. Okay, and then we've got another one at the end. And I'm going to go get some water. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So this is this is the game. This is the game, man. What's, what's your once per campaign card uh, do? Heal five and ready my hero. All right. So it's going to prevent basically a one down up cycle. Yeah, let's go. Mine lets me go get an ally, and they get a tough status token. I get to play an ally for free. So it's like any ally, any ally. So I can like go get a falcon. What's your biggest falcon? Falcon or Iron Man? Yeah. Go get him. Play him. He's free and he's tough. That is nice for Iron Man. Beautiful. Okay, hey, I'm excited for this. This does feel like getting through the entire level in Sonic and then getting to the last boss and like you try to learn it and if you don't do it in time, you got to start over. Well, there's no saves, right? There's Back no in saves. those days. No, there's no saves. You need anything? Nope. All right, so main scheme, let's see. Main scheme starts with zero and then you get four per player. So we got it at eight. Red House starts with three per player, so that's six. Red Skull only 32 hit points. That's one turn. <laughs> Zach laughs as he goes away. Hey, I'm going to zoom out and hang out with you guys. Oh, no, there's a card in my zoom. Thank you, Bryce. Sorry about that. Surprise you. Hello, everybody. Red Skull, the final challenge. How's everybody? So what's the, what's this, the, uh, how's Kang? Should we play Kang next week? Or if we fail here, we start over the campaign. I think Zach takes Spider Woman. I probably play, I might have to play Thor through this. Because I like that Thor deck and it would just be on fire here. Uh, or I could play like, I really want to play uh, Miss Marvel soon. Because I feel like we've gotten some cards that really shine with her. Kang next week seems to be the... Uh, everybody's saying Kang's so much fun. And so is Kang the best? Is Kang the best scenario so far? I would love it if that was the case. It seemed like such a cool concept of going back and forth through time. Time travel can really be awful in, you know, anything. Games and, and movies. But if you do it right, it can be very good. Also, Zach said it, he probably said it a lot when he was soloing, but um, huge thanks to all the subscribers out there, all the Marvel Champions, Hero Pack, Scenario Pack, Box, uh, the other one. We, had, we don't have novellas yet. There's like a fourth one, I think, for Champions. Maybe only three. Uh, cosmic Token Buyers, Content Subscribers. Um, it's it's amazing. Uh, we We are able to do so much because of that. It's really a joy. It's a joy. 
compared to Game Saiyan, Zola, Standalone, Mutagen, and King are my favorites. That's nice. King, Zola, Mutagen formula. So that I, you, everyone's kind of on the kind of on the same page. John Steinbeck saying best is subjective, of course, but it's doing more things than any other scenario. Yeah. More of an arc to it than other ones, says Corey. Very good. I'm so glad that we got this game, just in general. I mean, this this is kind of the superhero card game that I've been waiting on for a very long time. Cooperative just feels better to me on superheroes than uh, than like versus. Literally versus, not versus the game, but versus uh, like one v one superheroes doesn't seem nearly as compelling as being a team of superheroes taking on some some grand evil, which is also why a Star Wars cooperative card game would make so much sense. Because like that, the idea... I, I used to play the Star Wars role-playing game quite a bit, and it was actually before the uh, before the new dice mechanics that FFG did with the Genesis stuff. Uh, and I just love the idea of being an outcast or a scoundrel or something and being on a team, uh, you know, with the Jedi and other things, and you're, like, going on missions together. That just is so cool. I, I, I'd be very surprised if, if they don't... If they're not trying to do that game, I'd have to question everything, really. It's just so good. John Steinbeck saying, and I agree with this, you're starting to see the game stretch its legs a bit with the box and King. Excited to see where Guardians takes it. Also, I mean, all eyes on X-Men, right? Yeah, is it Star Wars done like Arkham or Marvel would be awesome. Yeah. Chris, what about that guy? That's a good point. I mean, technically, uh, Star Wars is part of Marvel now, so it could come to this. So that's that's uh, very relevant. It, what I'm waiting for, and, and maybe, maybe I mean, this could technically happen. It, it can technically happen right now with Champions, but I was hugely into like the early Battle.net uh, days. Anyone who's seen me talk about Sky Terror knows that. Um, but I loved the custom maps on Battle.net that you would find randomly. You just log on to Battle.net and somebody had designed because they released their system, you know, to everybody to have the tools to create whatever they wanted with their assets. I, I'm kind of waiting for a cooperative card game that really leans into that and says to the players, like, anybody who wants to create their own scenarios, like, here's the templates, here's the fonts, um, here's kind of maybe some of the basic rules or scripts that, that can kind of keep you in line with what we're doing. And then even, like, giving it like a i mean honestly if you were ffg you can print these cards on demand zach's walking in i'm not just talking to the wall here you, you print these cards on demand if, if i was ffg and i know that nobody this doesn't get to the exact table and says like yeah let's do it because nobody's you really going to make a tremendous amount of money on this but if if you could design your own scenario submit it to the ffg print house they print it and mail it to you for 50 bucks. Let's say make it profitable for them, right? 50, 50, 100, I don't, whatever it is. Say a number. And you get the official card quality. You get it printed on the official templates and the official uh, and the official fonts. If you did that for Star Wars, for instance, I could create, like, there's always one out of five people, one of them is the map maker, is like the tinkerer, you know, totally. generator of ideas. You just say to the community, make whatever Star Wars stories you want. We'll print them and you can play them in a cooperative card game. It's just like... Every time. Gets me so excited. Any, I feel like there is going to be a publisher that eventually solves that and is known for that. Yeah. Which is like, somehow they make a system and players can just make whatever they want. Mm -hmm. I still think, see, it, it's going... Like Skytar's close with the maps. It's very close. And I think it's going to happen. It's funny because they're literally coming out of that battle and idea of the MOBA. But there will be a shakeup with 3D printing and hard printing that gets it so like consumer level, prosumer level, that you can literally print a miniature that looks about as good as anything that's coming in the box. Yeah. At that point, I mean, stores have, <laughs> I see the store of the future could have a 3D printer and a card printer in store, and they have some kind of a licensing deal with various publishers sure. that gives them the ability to print these kinds of card templates and whatnot. You could walk into any store, give them your files, they'll print out the cards for you, play it for a charge of let's say 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something. Yeah. These things are going to happen. I mean, timing is always the question, but these things are definitely going to happen. 
What's up, Pablo from Hawaii? I love Hawaii. I have an aunt who lives on Hana, uh, the wild side of the island there. So much fun to visit. Over at Lahaina, drive south. Okay, um, are we ready to play? You ready to do this? Let's go. Man. I'm first player. Let's do it. <clears throat> I drew the shield, which is great, because that means I can mulligan it. Mm, I drew martial law, so that sucks. Did we decide that I, I don't... You still get to draw back up to your maximum hand size. But my max is still five? Is, oh, because is you have that awful yeah, card. I think, it's fine. <clears throat> I think we just... Actually, no, this isn't an effect yet. Okay. Because it's it's not... This it's reduces not your hand size when you draw yet. up to your hand size. Okay. So, yeah, so we need to worry about that. So I'll naturally get one card to replace it, no matter what I do next. Yeah. All right, I don't have an ally, so I'm in desperate, desperate search. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pitch everything. So I've got Hall of Heroes here, and I like this. Oh, yeah, we each get two encounter cards. We this encounter is not a minion, right? It's, it's just not a minion, card. it's just encounter cards, yeah. I like Hall of Heroes. I like Expert Marksman. Endurance, I think it's a little early for Endurance, although I do want to play it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cable and Electric. Look at this. Oh, wow. That's bogus. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just scooping it up. Oh, yeah. Table shot. Right. This I uh, kept this, and then I drew the rest of these. Thank you, Bryce. That's the right way to do it there on the chat. I think we look at that more than anything else. All right, so I like Hall of Heroes. I like Expert Marksman. If I keep Expert Marksman, I really want an arrow to shoot. Cable arrow makes the most sense. So, Hall of Heroes, Hall of Heroes, mm. Expert Marksman. Hopefully we get some minions. Shoot Cable Arrow. But I really need one card so I can play the bow. Maybe you don't take Marksman here. If I get a double resource... you got to keep all of heroes, right? There are a lot of minions. There's around. a lot of minions, yeah. I just need to get a double. I'm going to keep the Cable Arrow. And I'm going to have to make some decisions. All right, so I'll discard two here. And then I've got one out for martial law. So I get three more cards, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Less good, but not bad. Okay. So now martial law is in effect. I might just go ahead and ditch it. Dude, I'm going to clear all of the threat. You're a, a majestic creature. <laughs> Gentleman and a scholar. Okay. So this actually gets better here. All right, you ready to start? Your first player? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to start messing with my turn here. All right, first thing we'll do, we'll play... Ooh, smart. Smart. Let's recover three. Let's flip to cap. Who, ne who even needs a discount, you know? Let's go white tiger. I'm going to pay for it with a wild, so she'll remove three threat. Mm. And it gets better. Hold on. Then let's uh, fearless determination. Draw a card. And then I can do this all day. Then I will remove these. When I do, nothing. Uh, I get to trigger my improved th uh, thwart upgrade. After I defeat a side scheme, I can exhaust it to draw a card. Very nice. Um, then we're going to play Shang Chi with a lightning, so we will stun Red Skull. Don't sleep on. Don't f I I have three threat. Removal? Are you going to do four and four? I'm doing five out of eight. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That was hilarious. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove five with my handy dandy allies. Did I mention that I love White Tiger with 
Oh wait, what? you love zero cost allies? Just the art. Every time I see the art, I just like love this character. I didn't go get my shield, which I'm gonna do immediately. I was like, wait, I, I budgeted for this. Where are you at? Oh wait, I can discard it. Haha. -ha. Um, and then I played the shield. No, wrong card. Both four cost. Play the shield. Keep this card. Keep one. Here. Okay. All right. So things that I know are gonna happen. Earth's Mightiest isn't going to do anything because I don't have any Avengers out. So I'll ditch this. And by the way, Red House is gone, so you can't attack Red Skull. I can. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We go with the bow. Gets played. Okay. Oh, I might need to do a different resource. I forgot I need to ditch. Yeah. Okay, there's the bow. Then I'm going to exhaust, uh, deal myself an encounter. Oh, I don't even have to exhaust. Deal myself an encounter card, spend an electric mm -hmm. to discard martial law. Gotcha. I'll take another one. <laughs> Luckily, we were prepared for this. Is that a hero action? No, it's alter ego. Uh, that's a stunned on Red Skull. Okay, then I'll flip up. Now, you really don't want to be blocking, though. So Stun on Red Skull is one, plus one for each side scheme. So he's just going to be attacking for one with a boost. I'll take that all day of the week. All right. So then we'll go Expert Marksman, the Avengers Tower. We'll exhaust Expert Marksman, exhaust the bow to shoot a Cable Arrow for three threat. Nice. I'm going to save this card. I'm going to swing for four on Red Skull. Well, bow and a marksman. You can't hate that. You ready for this? We're going to get two threat on. Oh, that's right. He'll always get a side And then we get a side scheme back. This is Sleeper Awakened. You cannot leave play while the sleeper is in play. Put the sleeper in play and engage with the first player. When the sleeper is defeated, remove this side scheme from the game. Five health per player. Guard. Retaliate nice. one. Tough. When revealed, the sleeper engages the first player. When defeated, remove him from the game. I need cards. Three, yeah, four, two, five. Mm. Okay. All right. He's a big bad. Big boy. No arrows. Great. All right. So starting with me, Red Skull's going to attack. He's There's one side scheme. Mm -hmm. So it's two plus a boost. Stunned. Oh, yeah. Stunned. Then he's going to attack me. For three, and then he gets that tough knocked off. Oh, right on. Good for you. Cap. Got that shield built for it. And then he, Red Skull is going, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Uh, Red Skull is going to attack you. Here's your boost card. Uh, let me see if I'm going to block him. It's a two plus a boost. Two plus a boost. I feel like I'd really get more one around with these guys. Yeah, anyway. totally. Yeah, okay. Don't waste it on that. Four damage coming in. I've got the adrenal stems, and I'm looking to use them. <clears throat> okay. Noise. Noise. Okay. Then we go to the bad cards. Mm -hmm. So this is this is this is where you get your blockers ready. We just got to get Basically. ready. Yeah. Hydro, hydro, hydra, exo soldier, <laughs> hydro, hydro, hydro. Uh, comes into play. He's tough. Uh, nothing. Just five health. Tough guy. Tough guy sandwich. Power gauntlets attached to the villain. After the villain attacks you and damages you, discard a card from your hand. One of those uh, experimental weapons. Twisted reality. It's a condition attached to a side scheme. It has incite one, so we'll put one threat on. Force response. When attached side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter card. Okay. And then it's you. That's really not that bad. That's good. Hydra soldier. Has guard. Hydra soldier. Has guard. <sighs> Hydra Flame Soldier. Uh, after Hydra Flame Soldier makes an undefeated attack, discard a support. And infinite power. Give Red Skull a tough status card and he attacks me. Oh. So it's a two plus a boost and 
If he damages you, not your ally, you discard a card. I have a Shang-Chi I could technically throw at this. I think it might be block time. I I can't. I can't we'll let that happen. Let's send a Shang-Chi. Yeah. So two plus give Red Skull tough. Already has it. Plus one. So plus one. Shang Spread was that spreading lies? For yeah. a moment, I thought it said spreading legs, and that is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right. Uh, end of end of the phase. Mm -hmm. This is back to you. Thanks. All right. So that's the, that's the biggest storm. We yeah. cleared the board. Yeah. We've cleared we the got board. the stuff out, and like now we just have to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. If it helps you, I have a squirrel girl that's probably <clears throat> coming in. So it's just a static one to everything. So here's what I'm gonna do. Hawkeye is going to play all of Heroes with an energy. Then we're going to do four here. Yep. Get a counter. We're going to exhaust improved attack upgrade to draw a card. Yep. Good. Good. And we're going to chase them down. Beat an enemy. Remove two threat from a scheme. Okay. Okay. Now, where are you on the sleeper? So... My plan, if I can't get rid of him, which I don't think I can this turn, is literally to flip down and take one scheme. What if he was stunned or confused? And or confused. Just would that change anything? I, I don't think so. If I could do four damage to him, would that put you at doing six? Because we, we can't let these side schemes stack up, unfortunately. And so this is going to be another one, and then he's attacking for three. Now, I probably end up in Alter Ego this turn. So what I'm wondering is, like, if we are going to end up in Alter Egos, he's not going to attack anyway. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I have a pretty decent, like, build turn here. Yeah. And so we can basically take three scheme, plus whatever the side scheme ends up being, which won't come into play yet. And then he's got three naturally that he's doing. So like if you can do four or five damage, I would almost rather see you get rid of someone. Yeah. And this guy schemes for two. Yeah. And that's But it's five with a tough. Super two. annoying. But like <clears throat> again, as long as it doesn't advance. I have a lot of threat removal happening. And you don't have the discount here. And what is it at? 16 to advance. So that's unlikely. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's definitely got a shot. With Red Skull being at a 3. Yeah. It's bogus. Mm. Now, if, mm. if you actually, like, stun this guy, it may be worth me staying in hero mode. Here. If if I don't remove the two and chase them down, do you just white tiger that three mm -hmm. away? Let's do that. I'd rather have the resource at that point. So if that's the case, then what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to roll in with Spider Girl. Okay. And I'm going to use two, chase them down. Pay for that. Confuse and stun a minion. So my gut tells me if we're going to go to Alter Ego, that Hydra Exo Soldier is the guy. Hmm, that's really nice. To stun and confuse here. Because it basically gives me several turns to deal with him. Yeah. And then if I go down, he's just doing one. He's just scheming for one. So that saves but us two scheme. Preventing two here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now... Now we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus two variable boost cards. Mm-hmm. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we've got encounter cards that we don't want to mess with. Because I could also adrenal stims, do a full heal, swing at the Hydra Soldier again, uh, and call it good. 
and get one of these off the table. And stay in hero mode. Are you going to stay? I could also do six. You do six damage? Mm hmm. Can you kill the sleeper? Yeah. I do six. I mean, that's not a problem. I like that a lot. He's got Retaliate, unfortunately, which will be a problem for Spider Girl. Not a huge deal, right? It'll just take Spider Girl off the table. I want those tokens. If we take him out, I probably stay in hero mode. Mm hmm. Because. But do we have blockers at that point? So the main thing is he's only attacking for one. Two and a boost, mm -hmm. and my retaliate gets rid of his tough. Mm -hmm. Actually, Squirrel Girl is going to get rid of his tough, so yeah, that that's won't good matter. for you. I, so you're going to do one across? Yeah, I I feel like I flex so, down either way. Hold on, if you're going to do one across, and you're coming in, there's no way to get Squirrel Girl down before all of that happens. Mm -hmm. So that that's ultimately okay. So let's have Squirrels do two here. Just start loading it up. First of my one damage. Mm, I stole them all. My damages. And then I'm in the mood to 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 get these adrenal stems. Now this is also a, a situation where I could go alter ego. You stay in hero, and we could do the flip flop and ravel. My time travel. My mind gets back to the beats that a battle. Or I could take out another Hydra Soldier. Get another one on Hall of Heroes. Get an encounter card. I think I'm going to do it. I mean, it heals five. I don't want to be healing four with it. I get to stand up, swing at that Hydra Soldier again. I feel like we need to dig out of that early, like, three-card nonsense. I, well, and if we lose, we lose. Let's so go. Let's give may, him the You juice. might as well do it. Plus, that goes to your discard, so you can get it again this game. That's right. All right, give him the juice. Don't give him the stick. Hydra Soldier's gone. There's that. Let's get another counter. And you were doing six here somehow? Oh, you have that arrow? No, I'm not doing six here anymore. Oh, we aborted that plan. The, the, yeah, because it would kill Spider Girl. I feel like yeah, it's better yeah, you have a blocker. To, to not do that. Okay, so all of that is now done. Okay, my turn? Yes. And I'm not going to go to Alter Ego. That's fine. Unless I think, that, think I'm going to go down, which is good, because I, I have a pretty solid build turn. And the squirrels can block, yeah. Yeah. I can block with Spider. You can block with squirrels. You got it. The, the world is at our, our fingertips here. And then I draw an arrow next turn. Yeah, Corey, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Allies are so good. I might clear this. To get the encounter card? The only thing that's good, if I don't have to use Spider Girl, here's something I could do. Let's, let's bounce this around. So I could flip to Alter Ego here. Mm -hmm. mm, no, Hall of Heroes doesn't get a counter for Spider. I was thinking swing with the ally, get three the, cards, go back problem. up to here. Yeah. I'll, I'll stay here. You can kill that as you like. My next turn is probably hopefully fire an arrow or two, get the improved attack upgrade to trigger. Then go down to Alter Ego, downtime, heal, and get going. I can tell that we care about this one. It's not get, quite as high flying as it once was. You only one. get one shot. All right, let's remove three from the main scheme. And then... This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself. Uh, I'll swing for two here. You did it. Get yourself an encounter card. Oh, the engaged player. That's yep. me. You're stacked. But I'll have allies in case you need ah. an exit plan. Um, then let me do my math really quick because I could ready. You're going to roll down for the discount? Yeah. yeah. Well, you already played an ally, so that doesn't. No. But that's okay. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to play Steve's Apartment. Then I'm going to heal one, draw a card. I love that card. Yeah, I feel like that is just such momentum mm -hmm. happening. That's why I wanted to go down. Ultimately. Is it the Aunt May of Captain Rogers? Captain Rogers. 
Captain America. <laughs> Captain Rogers. Uh, I mean, it's not as good. Yeah. Because she's one for eight when I flip down, but it does give you cards instead, so... A card's worth about 17 uh, health. Mm. Let's go Squirrel Girl. One to everything. Uh, one to everything, so Tough is gone. Tough is gone. One here. Um, and then she will swing for one here. Mm-hmm. Four is a good pocket. Yeah. Hawkeye's got a good four. And then I'm done. Okay. So it let me basically heal, get my apartment down, which will give me an extra card next turn. Plus I have the extra card, plus I have the ally discount. It's just like... We've got options. Two, three, four, five. Still don't have any arrows, though, so watch out. But I've got a lot of... Ooh. Yes. Yes. These are good cards. Very good cards. <laughs> okay, great. First thing, uh, we're going to put two on. And then we get a side scheme. Thankfully, oh, this is gone, right? This is from last mm -hmm. time. Prison camps. Six on. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme searches their deck for an ally, puts it into play, and shuffles their deck. Wait, say that again? So this is good. We defeat this. Whoever defeats it gets to go get an ally from their deck or discard Me. pile. Yeah, it's going to be you. Puts it into play? Yeah. So, wow, and I get a camps, card off of this. That's delicious. Wow. That, can you imagine that eclipse instead of that? Mm. Goodness. Different game. But I feel like getting this out of the way now, just like get it out of here. I also have a random free ally at some point. I'm just waiting for that. That emergency teleport. I, awesome. I want to wait until. Goliath I, in there? Don't you have a yeah. big. Oh, yeah. That, beefy, if, I, if I have like two get readies or something, it's like Goliath is coming to downtown. Um, okay, then uh, we did the threat. Now he's going to interact with us, starting with you. Attack. Do um, you want squirrels first or do you want spider girl? Um, I feel like squirrels first. Okay. So one attack. Plus, two, three. Yeah, plus, plus a boost. Two, so five. Squirrel girl, you did your job. Doing what squirrels do. And then he's going to interact with me. He's going to scheme for three plus a boost. Four, five, six, and then the confusion goes away. So six on? Yep. And then bad cards. So you'll get a hmm. third one, and uh, I'll play here, and we'll uh, see what happens. Okay, first player, here we go. Hydra Exo Soldier with Tough. Where's that Hawkeye ally? Red Skull's right hook attached to Red Skull. Red Skull gains Retaliate 1. Cool, look at that art. Oh my goodness. And then advance the villain schemes. Okay. Three plus. Mm -hmm. Three plus star. If you're in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation without any boost cards for that attack. So it's a three. All right. So he does three on the main. And then I take one attack for three. I'll take a clean three to Hawkeye. That's fine. I need something to do with my recovery stat, right? Am I right? Okay. What about you? What's your bad card? Hail Hydra. Winter build. Each Hydra minion engage with a hero. One. Uh, makes an attack. Two. Three. I I'm not a hero. <gasps> okay, just me. Each player is not attacked this way. Searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play. Very nice. Them. So you will get attacked by that thing. Okay. Um... Two damage. I'm going to get this out of the discard pile, the Hydra Jet Trooper. It's got Quick Strike, but I'm in uh, mm -hmm. Alter Ego, so no dice. Wise. I think I'm going to take two more to Hawkeye, because I'm going to roll in and, yeah. I'm just going to take two more right to the face. Good? Mm-hmm. And Red Skull didn't do any... Oh, Red Skull doing damage is bad, because I have to discard a card, don't I? Yes. Uh, maybe I sacrifice Spider Girl for that. I think you do. Yeah, she's gone. But then you don't take the damage. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. End of round? Yeah. This flips. Let's start in the apartment. Mac. Did you, did, was there a, a charger? Did you guys bring in a charger? I'm going to try to find uh, it. It's somewhere. That white with the Your square? phone charger? Yeah. Uh, it might be in your little bucket there. Okay. Think about what you're gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a great minion clearing turn. Good. 
My minions? Uh, can be. At least one of them. One or two of Is them. Is it in your bucket? This bucket? Yeah. Um, let me think. I think there are some boxes along the wall in my office, this wall, the one closest to me. In your office? Yeah, literally the, this wall, right, the other side of this wall. It, it might be there. Do you just have a charger somewhere? I don't, unfortunately. Not, I mean, I did, but it's at home right now. I can, I can make chat big on my screen. I know it's somewhere. Um, that's close enough. Let me see if that's close, close enough for county work. Yeah. Um, do you have your laptop? I don't. Mm. I'll just. I can just lose chat at the end of this one. Here. Make it big. Yes. I don't want to lose our friends. Here we go. Okay. Great. I've got you. All right. Let me think about this. I have a interesting turn coming up. So that's going to let me go get an ally for free. Right. Yes. Okay, so... Two there. You gonna make the call for squirrels? I wish I could. Send in the cards. I all? don't have it. Mm -mm. There's definitely a part of me. Let's see. So we probably need to try to clear sleeper this time around, don't we? He's he's going down. In fact, I've got him. I've got him taken care of with one card in Hawkeye. That would give me a Holly Heroes counter and a draw from the attack upgrade. Him? Sleeper. So oh, just don't touch him. I've got four and five coming coming to Sleeper. Okay. But if I if I did a five, you could I just do, do the four, four. Yeah. And you could save your five for something yep. other. Yeah, yeah. Especially if this tough is gone, we've got five there. I could also do five here. Oh, crazy. I Here's might I might just leave him. Because totally. I, I yeah. have... Don't forget he has guard, though, in case you're going to go flex on Red Skull. Hmm. Can you defeat someone else, then? Yeah, like I can Like, you defeat... can spend the four here. Oh, 100%. Yeah, okay. It's all Cause on I, the I, table. It's, it's too juicy, what's about to happen. Also, do you have a pocket of two damage that you're looking to spend? <laughs> Maybe. If you do, let me know. I've got an event that I can play that'll do two there. Okay, okay, okay. That might matter. Well, let's start here. I'm going to flip. So I'm at three currently. What's the most efficient way to do this? No, you're gonna. You're just gonna Bugatti in an ally, aren't you? Yeah. Beautiful. And then sleepers removed from the game. Yeah. That's amazingly good. Okay. I'm just going to do this. Let's remove three with cap from here. Okay. Then I'm gonna, I can do this all day and do it again. Yep. And then. The ally I'm going to get is Goliath for free. Mm. Free Goliath is good Goliath. It's my kind of Goliath. Um, I'm going to take an action against plus four. Oh, no way. He's at five. If we get guard. Yeah. Um, if you want me to clear this tough, I can do that pretty easily. And you can drop a five here. Well, I, I just have to go crazy on this guy. OK. You've got ideas. You'll, you'll see why. I like your ideas. Uh, let's go ahead and swing for five here. And retaliate. You're cool with that? Mm-hmm. Taking three? Yeah. Doesn't matter because the second Yeah. Second beat is the end anyway. Oh, side skimmer. 
he's gonna get ready. Mm hmm And then Do you have a four you could do right now? I have five I can do right now and I have two I can do right now. But the five would have overkill, it's relentless assault. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. All right, let's relentless. I'm going to use a She Hulk for the overkill. What and up, Bryce? Do you need this? How about a. Can you hear me now? Great. How about a. Probably a Valkyrie. So four here, one carries over. Mm -hmm. I'll take one for retaliate. No, he's dead. Don't he's take gone. Retaliate. Right. This goes away. This goes away. So I'm going to get a counter in Hall of Heroes. I'm also going to use this hero response defeat draw a card. Also, when I defeated nice. this side scheme, I drew a card. I forgot about that. Um, good, good. So good, then I got good, an encounter good, card good, good. because uh, Twisted Reality gave it to me. Okay, now I have to think about my life. So Goliath's going away either way. I may as well just use him. Okay, so how's this situation? I'm gonna clear that. Oof. Love hearing that. Um, I'm gonna. You still got Goliath teed up for five, don't you? Yeah, he's at he's at six right now. So I'm gonna play a team training. All my allies get plus one health. Mm. Um. Then. Mm, okay. Boy, that card is amazing. It is really amazing. Um, so you'd have to scheme with Goliath to not lose him? Well, he's, he goes away at the end anyway. So right. I'm just going to use him up. Okay. Maybe that's the wrong play. Hold on. I might switch this. Oh, hey, look at this. Force response. When attached side scheme is defeated, side scheme wasn't defeated. Oh. Uh... Oh, so I don't get the encounter card. It says remove this card from the, from the game. Great. Perfect. Um, cool. Thank you, prepared a game. We that. were prepared. And that. Because it says, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll play team training. That's a good thing. That's just like when attached said scheme is defeated, it's not. It's just removed from game. It's just removed from the game. Mm -hmm. I I'll 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 play with the idiosyncrasies of the rules. Let's go. We're gonna use them against us all the time. Um. First aid on White Tiger, and then she will four for three off here, card. and then I will get ready and do it again. One two three, one two three. Then Goliath is gonna swing for five on Red Skull and go away. Just a big swamp. Um, and then you're up. You're up. OK. Interesting. Well, you know, yeah, I think this is right. A 2-2, two, two, a 2 attack. Let's do press the advantage mm -hmm. over here. Two, two damage, and if they're stunned, they, I draw a card. Nice. So I get that. Oof. Oof. That's nice. But I've got to kill. I've got to waste downtime for this. We don't need downtime where we're going. That's true. <laughs> this is the end. Okay. Well, that was a cool draw. Let's do expert marksman. And spin the downtime for an electric arrow. Three damage and stun on Red Skull. Do you nice. retaliate? Yep. It doesn't matter. It's ranged. Arrows. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, and then I think I'm going to go ahead. He's already stunned. You're in hero mode, so this doesn't matter. Yep. I'll probably end up taking two here, and that's fine. We're not really heavy on blocks, so I'm probably going to swing here. 
Okay. And then roll down. I like it. And get a, a full hand. Because you'll load up another token there, too. Yeah. Which is good. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. I like it. Load up a token. And then, God willing, I can kill him next turn, get another improved attack card, and be done. So I'll roll let's down. do it. Just have to hope Red Skull doesn't scheme out. Okay, six cards coming in. Let's go. All right, so two threat on and a side scheme, if you would. One, two threat, side scheme in. Mass Chaos, when revealed, each player discards the top five cards of their deck and one threat for each different type of resource discarded this way. Two, three, four, five. I have three different types. I have four different One, types. One, two, three. So seven on the side scheme there. <laughs> you got to have something for Cap to do, right? There it is. Found it. Seven. Okay. Seven on, and you got to get rid of this before we can deal with that. That's fine. Uh, then the interactions. He's going to try to attack me and fail. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to try to attack me and fail. Thank you <laughs> for doing that. Cool. And then he's going to scheme against you. For three. Plus three plus. Three plus star. If this card is always during an undefended attack, it doesn't. So three. And then you get a bonus two from your old Hydra One, Exo Soldier. Two, three, and the bonus. So we're at 12 of 16. Manageable. Dealing cards. We're about to round the corner. Bitter rival. Winter Veal, exhaust a character you control for each side scheme in play. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, yeah, that's, a, that's correct. That's a great. It's a nice cap red skull art. Assault. Surge. Perfect. Hydra Exo. Toughness. Grr. Okay. So we got villains. These guys are good. You have any make the calls in there? I wish. It would be sweet. Where's Squirrely? Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Sherlina. <laughs> oh, so funny. All right. Well, let me look. Call for an action? Colin. I'm taking three cards. You do it. Let me do my math really quick. Hey, there's a quiver. Man, I need an AoE. <gasps> Hulk could do it. Do you have Hulk? I do. Great. Yeah, I do. If he hits that lightning bolt, it's such money. Oh my Thunder. gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'm just on cleanup duty. That's the truth. This is a big turn for the Hawkster, as you might expect. Now, I haven't seen a single Vibranium arrow yet. Oh, there they are, both of them. So that's wrong. I just discarded all, all right. my arrows. Thank you, Red Skull. Let's do... Oh, I hate you. I hate you. That ruling is bonks. With the you thing? Yeah. The yeah. worst. You said it, man. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, let's remove three from the side scheme. This one? Yeah. And then uh, I can do this all day. We'll do it again. It's got one on it. And then let's flip down. And I'll use Steve's apartment. Clever. Oh, Bugatti. I'm going to save it, though, because I don't have what I need. Um, then let's play a Falcon for three. And after each play, I look at the top three cards. You should have let us know how they go. Uh, one treachery, so I'll move one there. Oh, that was cool. That was great. Yeah. Anything weird happens when we remove side schemes? No. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the board. That I would draw a card if it was me, but it's not. Oh, now. it's not you? Well, it's an effect. It's not. You control your effects, man. It's, it doesn't work? No, it doesn't I don't work. think so. Of course it doesn't. So it's a... Uh... He's going to get plus one scheme, plus one attack from the first boost card. It's going to attach to him. His gun. <laughs> His Luger. Uh, then he's going to get a two boost. Cool. OK. 
Okay. Um, then I'll remove two from the main scheme. I'm leaving this guy for you out. Yeah. Apparently. Let's remove two here. <laughs> um. Actually, you know, yeah. Okay. I'm into this. I get it. Let me look at what errors I've got in the discard. I'll pass to you. You didn't get rid of any of that threat? I was rid as much as I could. What am I supposed to do about that? Remember that seven threat side scheme that I got rid of to start the I turn? I don't think so good. <laughs> All right, I don't have any cable errors. I've got one sonic and two. I've got one explosion in hand, so I've got a sonic and an explosion ready to go. Confusing the enemy might be very relevant in this. You're pretty sweet. You could stop this thing from going. Maybe. I want you. Bum, bum, okay. bum. All right. So let's start where all great things start. Hawkeye. He's a hot guy. Hawkeye, he's a hot guy. If I'm thinking correctly, my turn is basically going to be Hulk. Now, have you used your discount? You, yeah. You did? Yeah. On the old Falcon. That's a bummer. On your left, Cap. <laughs> you haven't seen either movie that's from. Oh, the pain. All right, so that's the Hulk, man. Then we're definitely going to do this. You know Hulk had to show up. It was our destiny. And then... So that's really the question. I'm probably going to start with Hulk and see what happens, right? That's kind of the, it's usually the, the game. The score seems good. All right, Hulk coming in. An Avengers and a Mightiest. Let's go, Hulk. Okay. Hulk's going to go three in on, I'm, I'm planning for the Lightning Bolt. We'll just knock out that Exo Soldier and draw a card. I like it. Yeah. After he attacks, ooh, two to something. This is close. It's not bad. These Exo Soldiers are annoying. They good. Hmm. Well, I feel like I should do two to Red Skull. T damage to enemy. Yeah, because you don't want to get retaliated on it. It wouldn't retaliate. Let's do two to Red Skull. Can you dig it? Okay. Now, how much of a gamble? One, two, three, four, five. If the bottom card is explosive arrow, it's then not. it's not. So I'll play the quiver with an explosive arrow, then we'll use the quiver to go get the last explosive arrow. Oh man, this would be brutal. Got it. <laughs> Mild nerves. Yeah, no one to hold them, no one to fold them. No one to run, no one to walk away, that kind of a thing. I'm with you. Right there with you. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold. Okay, and now I think I can maybe get this done. What am I at? Oh, I need to draw a card from Hulk killing something. Does, isn't it you that has to defeat it something? Is that what it says? Yeah, after you defeat him. I had the same okay. problem with my improved okay. Update, okay, well, upgrade. Okay, well... We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, Quiver, I'm going to use Expert Marksman to launch the Explosive Arrow just to clear these toughs. Three to everything? And three to Red Skull. All right, down to 14. Not an attack. Then we'll do Relentless Assault. Noise. That is you. Five. That is me, you're right. Get a token on Hall of Heroes. Mm. Draw a card. Load them up. And then we'll do four to the Exo Soldier. And then we'll press the advantage for two more. Get out of town. Get yeah. that third token, too. Yeah, third token. Cleared. Wow. Okay. And we were singing. So we're probably going to go, though, to the next, next encounter, uh, next threat thing. You never know. End of the round? End of the round. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Mm. Hot diggity dog. Yeah, apparently, yeah, Quiver uh, shuffles your whole deck now. There's a new rule according to um, Boggs' uh, TikTok account that um, you you shuffle every time every time your deck is uh, is searched, it w- which, which hey, is the right rule. You know rule. what? If there was a single right. TikTok account with all the rules updates, I'll take I'd it. love it. It delivered via all interpretive right. dance. Can they print it? How do I print this? All right, first Give up, me an extra encounter card, would you? This is for you. Uh, do we know what this is? No. Talkin' doesn't? I do. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's his gun. Is it the attach gun? Mm-hmm. Attach gun? But that, okay. that was if it was boosting. The top boost card's a two. Yeah. He's definitely advancing. He's advancing, yeah. Do we know how bad it is? No, we don't. We're about to find out. Surely it's fine, right? I got built. I feel like you got a little built. You got um, team training. You, you, you have good. no idea what's coming. You don't have any emergency teleporter things that could save us here. What I really need is a Triskelion. <laughs> wow. Mark that on the whiteboard of things I never thought I'd hear in this game. 2020, man. Full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He's going to scheme against me. You ready for this? I'm ready. Plus two. Five. Oh, actually, we add two first on, and yeah. get a side scheme. Add two. Get a side scheme. Censor the past. Mm. When defeated, each player chooses three in their discard pile and shuffles them into the deck. Oh, wow. That's going to be really good for me. It's not terrible. I have this little little deck. Put all those Zero alleys right back in there. I agree. Oh, man. You're going you're gonna to work those alleys. <laughs> it's going to be just crazy. All right. So 12 out of 16 and scheming for three plus. Five two. more. That's five more. So we're going. Let's see what happens. New World Hydra. Just want to see how bad it is. When revealed, reveal really the top card of the side scheme and put it into play. Hydra Patrol. Hydra Patrol. When defeated, we should get a minion. Okay. Defeated, we get a minion, and you got to do this one before you do the other one. Uh, after resolving step one of the villain phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme, put it into play. It comes in with two on, and we can go to 22. So we got some play here. Game on. All clear. And then uh, he attacks me, right? Um, do you like blockers? I, I can block with Hulk, but we all know the value that Hulk provides. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine to block. Who do you want to block with? Tiger. Tiger? Flip on. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, Tiger will block. It's one, two, three, plus a special. Mm-mm. Hmm, boost. Exhaust a character you control. White Tiger. I can, ex- she's exhausting a block, right? She exhausts a block. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, I mean, you can just ready him with all day, every day. Whatever. Yeah, but like he's just got better value than him. Yeah, that's true. So sorry about you. Uh, then my tiger goes away. Thanks for playing, Phyllis Master. You're um, somewhat correct. So actually, Zach and I split it currently. Zach does the posting, and I do all of the responses. But I do hate social media. If I didn't have have to respond to Facebook stuff, I would have deleted my account like a year and a half ago. I haven't updated it. I would have, since I would I have been gone. Yeah. yeah, I'm done. Um, okay, so then he's going to scheme against me. He already schemed against me. He already schemed against you. That's so now we get the bad cards. Now we get the bad cards. Starting with me. Hydra Jet Trooper. Quick Stripe. Can't do anything. That's very fortunate. There's the Luger attached to Red Skull. Piercing and ranged and all sorts of things. And, of course, Exhaustion, our everybody's favorite. Let's get another one. Another a laser rifle. Whoa, he's bringing out the big guns. Do we let's, do something about? Let's just let's just look at this for about a second. This? He has ranged, so he doesn't take retaliate. He has ranged and piercing, which means he ignores tough. These mm-hmm. are from whatever. Retaliate one, and then this is the, if he damages you, discard a card. So as long as he's only attacking allies, we don't have to worry about any of those except for retaliate one. You got it. Yeah. So that's your job. I don't know if you're aware of that, but thanks. All right. Uh, we're done? We're done. This is for you. Thanks. There's an ally discount, technically. Well, if you're not going to use it, I can. Let's start where all great things start. I am not. I would use it. Let's reach into that quiver. Can you call for an action? Thanks. Call in for an action. We got a vibranium boy. If I play an ally, can I just get rid of Falcon? No. 
When you hit the limit, you get a pick, right? When you hit the limit, yes. But like, you're if, not at the limit. When I'm at the limit, inevitably in a second. Yes, you can overwrite. I can. We we learned that a while ago. I yeah. can take my four cost falcon and just discard them. Yes, you can. Just because you don't care at all. Did you get the the bit arrivals? That's a good question there from Johnian. Exhausted character you control for each side scheme in play. Oh, it was a boost. That's why. It was a boost card. So the boost version just says exhausted character you control. If you actually draw it, yeah. uh, you get to, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, worth pointing out, on my turn, I can possibly play Maria Hill. Scout the Dillo? If you want, need a card on my activation. I'm just wondering if I should go ahead and take Hall of Heroes while I can just roll down and, and get it done. Or do you save it for next round? Or do you save it for next round? Well, Hawk's going to take out that Jet Trooper. I think that's just obvious, right? Is it obvious? Well, he's, he's built for it. Or does he just punch Red well, Skull? Well, because Red Skull's going to retaliate. But, like, you know, he's just going to block one. So he takes three, he reveals a Lightning Bolt, goes to four... And then uh, he blocks, and, and we're out of Or you reveal a fist, do two extra, and you have three health left over and over again. Yeah. You, you're probably... How about even better? Uh, I like even better. Yeah, my, even better is my favorite style. Let's do expert marksman mm -hmm. and the bow. I'll launch an explosive arrow onto your side of the board. So three to that thing, three to that thing. That's going to get rid of that. It's going to get me a counter. It's going to get me a card draw. Why not? Yeah. I got Valkyrie, but the value is low. But the potential is high. You can't play Valkyrie when there's no minions, right? That's just crazy. That's just crazy. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy, right? All right, Hulk's going to swing in, do three to Red Skull, to take one in return for Retaliate, and then he's going to reveal a Go See You at Home. We were swinging. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take the cards now because I can use them. Okay. I think that's right. I think I'm going to roll down. I'm into it. Now, we just don't want him to thwart. How are you on thwarties? I'm going to... It just dominate. Pants right? the board, yeah. Okay, pants the board. Cashing in my Hall of Heroes. Yes. Great. Great. I finally get to play him. Do you need the discount? No. Here comes Sentry. All right. Strength. And a Sonic Arrow. You get a card. I get a card. That's Sentry in play. Sentry Hello got the Dillo. We're going to play a combat training with Genius. He's built. We're yeah. in the end game now. And then we're going to play Battle Fury with Valkyrie. And we're going to start doing some work. <clears throat> We've got the arrow. Ready to go. We've got a battle fury ready to go. We've got combat training. So next turn is going to be money. Uh, sentry probably. Do you need tooth work? Off a of hydro patrol, for instance. Not off that one. How mm -hmm. about this one? Yeah, that's fine. Two there. Four is my magic number. So yeah, two there is great. Great. I feel like that's that's where we're going to get hosed this game. Okay. Done. Mine. All yours. I'm now swinging for five. Just want to let Hulk know that. Just want to let Hulk know that. Hulk? Just Hulk the hero. Mm. I'm swinging for five without even playing Got any cards. It, yeah, I yeah. just... Okay. I get it. Just want to make sure that, that you know that I'm the strongest Avenger somehow. S miraculously. Yeah. All right. So I'm at three... I'm going to go hit the bunny. All right. Get rid of the side schemes while I'm done. Let's start here. I'm going to play a Moon Knight with a Wild and draw a few cards. Yeah, I agree. All right. So then, technically, I can Maria Hill for a card. Now, I haven't seen my negative card this game, so that makes me nervous.
Um, let's go and play Maria Hill using these two, and she'll draw us both a card, which I get my anti-hero propaganda. Oh, wait, that's an alter ego action. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, if I'm at two, will Maria Hill here? App two. Here are the Hydro Patrol and draw a card. I do like this better. I forgot my anti-hero uh, propaganda was alter ego action. Uh oh. I knew it was there and I just whiffed. Um, Did you play Maria Hill? Yeah. Is I, this I gave a card, yeah. Uh, we'll go Fearless Determination. I got you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now you're in trouble land. Let's... Because you can't thwart for as much. Make the call. I mean, I, I, I'm i just way overkill right now. <laughs> um, So then these two will take out that. Everybody shuffles three cards in their discard pile into their deck. Chooses up, up to three cards. Then I'm going to play... That includes you, so um, three oh, cards back in. Wow. I want the mansion back in somehow. I think I do want to play it. Should I get Hulk back? You know what? I don't think the mansion is right. I think the double resources and the explosive arrow is probably tops. Yeah, make the call. So if you need Hulk or Valkyrie, you can go get it. I'm putting in two zero-cost allies and a lead from the front. That seems okay. You got to discard Falcon? Yeah. Hint. He's going to get played again. Oh. Not this turn, but at some point. You could do Maria, too. If she's getting played again. Um, I will... Play resourceful. <laughs> oh man, MVP. And then what a beautiful card. Really. Uh, we'll just go to the next round. Beautiful in its terror. All right, you got blockers, right? Yeah. You're down anyway. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, what a good. I hope we get a bunch of uh, minions. Okay, so oh first, boy, oh boy. we'll go two threat on, and uh, we get a side scan. Two threat on, coming in. Green goblins around, and we get a side scheme. Hydra reinforcements when defeated. You, you, you go get a non-elite minion. No, the the player who defeated the scheme discards a non-elite minion. Oh, so that's good for us. It's gooder for us, yeah. Oh, so he's giving us good things. That's why it was so crazy. We got that one bad one really at the first. Okay. Well, cool. So then we shuffle these up and keep going, I imagine, right? Yeah. Stands up. Okay. I'm feeling okay. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Again. Uh, then we go to Red Skull uh, interacting with us. I'm the first player, so I'm going to get a scheme. Uh, three plus. Four. Four plus. One. Five. He's going to attack me. I'll block with Maria Hill. Okay. So he's at one, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Bulldozed <laughs> cards. You're first. And then we get one extra? Yeah. Hmm. Hawkeye just loves those three cards this time around. Hydra Soldier coming into play here. Assault. Gain Surge. A bunch of cards when you're all three guys is the finest time to get it. Red Skull's got another right hook. Can he do that? Yeah. Double retaliate. And then Shadows of the Past. Time. I won't get quick strike. It was time for it. Marked for death. Uh, Mockingbird. Hand. Ah, son of a... Sniped. <laughs> I'll get rid of it. 
and then uh, where, where's the other? Oh, yeah, crossfire comes in, can't attack me because get lost, and then sniper shot goes shuffled into the. You ready for my bad card? Yeah, master plan four on each. Oof. Okay. So mm, Hydro patrol. Way. When I got rid of it, should have put minions into play. How many? We each get one, I think. Can Can you read it from the? Uh... Yeah, from the grave. All right, we're going to have to do some work. Luckily, I think we're set up to do work here. Uh, Hydra Patrol. When defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard power for a Hydra minion, puts it into play engaged with them. I'm going to guess we're going to go with the uh, Jet Trooper. Yeah. I'll take two, but he'll get retaliated. Fine. Okay. Do you ever make the call for squirrels? I could. Okay. Um... So here's where I'm at. Let's start thinking. Do you need this now? Yeah. Pass that over. OK, so if you make the call for squirrels, one arrow clears all three of these guys. And also you do one to the jet trooper, of course. So that's good. Now the question is, do we want to X Red Skull right now? Or do you want to try to recover some tempo here? I can do three removed, four, five uh, from the main scheme. Five, Let's see if there's any other weird things I could do. I'll get one card from here. So it could be... I could maybe do seven from the main scheme, depending on schemes, how that goes. Yeah, seven from the scheme. So I've probably got. I feel like we definitely need to get rid of this, and then whoever defeats it discards a non-elite minion. So defeat this, get rid of this guy. He's not elite. I'm gonna get rid of all three of these guys. That clears everything there. Do we have to get rid of these right hooks yet? Um, hold on. Did you take a quick strike and an attack here? Yeah. You and two? Um, Maybe two more? No. Maybe two more. You're retaliated twice? Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, then Squirrel Girl clears the board, basically. Mm hmm Which seems pretty all right. That's pretty okay, yeah. I wish Earth Minus Heroes allowed you to, to exhaust an Avenger on the other side of the board. It would be so good. I would pay one for that. Let me look. If I do that. Man, I can just I, I can do so much damage to Red Skull right now, it's crazy. How much? I mean five, ten, sixteen, sixteen on the table, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen without even We might go for the game here. What's his next? Do we know his next phase? 40. So we need 48. Well, let me, right, let me just do the math really quick. Okay. I'll also do some math. Sharon. Third turn. Third turn. I'm around 19 to 20. Depending on the card that I draw, it could be higher. And that still clears all the minions with squirrels if you got that. You got that teleported. You don't see mine, that glide. No. Oh no, I'm <laughs> I'm oh looking at gosh. it. Don't see anything. Shh. Mm. Oh. 
and and I can get rid of one of the retaliates, which I think is relevant for us. From downtown. So I've got six, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He also might do something weird when he comes into play. Eighteen. Very weird. Four. Oh wait, I saw the pay for that. I've got probably like 24, 25. We're super close. I don't think we need it yet. We don't need it, but like um, in the grand scheme of doing the damage, why don't we do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our, so our first move has got to be, for me, our first move must be, yeah, are squirrels in your plan? If we're going with the survive plan, it can be, yes. She's not a part of my max Your max damage max plan? Damage plan. <clears throat> well, why don't we then... How is the, why don't we do squirrels, clear the board of minions... And remove as much threat as I can. Remove main, main scheme threat, and I can probably contribute there, and go ahead and get Red Skull to his next zone. Go ahead and put some damage in, and then I think going into 40 next turn, I think can do it. We're in a pretty good spot. I've got sentry. I'll have the the another arrow. I've got to use the quiver. I'm gonna do that here in just a second, too. So that could change the That's more than he has retaliate two at the moment, yeah. which gets rough. I could get rid of one of those. Fascinating stuff. Fun little game. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? And you got the teleporter. Yeah. Don't sleep on the teleporter. I am not asleep. And I need to use it before I shuffle, which is going to happen. Um, okay. Let me make sure my math is right. I think our, I think our safest move is probably uh, clear the main scheme, clear the minions, send Rescal to his next version. Make sure we can block any and all attacks. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. No. I wish I could kill some minions before the... Oh! I actually have more damage, man. Let's I'm also see. worried about that threat. This one? All of it. Yeah. Let me... Let me... Let me look at this again. Just hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Now, Squirrel Girl, factor Squirrel Girl into your plan. Okay, what, tell me the number you can get to if that is a part With of Squirrels, I'll let you know the number. Okay. So, one to everything. We will quiver for something. I'm not sure it will matter. Then we'll do this for free. Then that will do this here. This here? This here? Not this. This here. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight. Stand. Stand. Fourteen. Stand. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah, I think I'm at 21. I think that's the safest, like, that's the safest number. 21. If you're at 21, and I assume squirrel happens. Mm. Less, it's less good. We should go with plan safe. Yeah. Plan I'm safe. With it. Forgot Battle Fury's attack and defeat. And this AOE arrow is not an attack. 
You know how that goes. I'm not going to squirrels. Is that a problem? Not. Or do you need squirrels? I don't need squirrels. It's super clean. It gets rid of both of these minions that I think otherwise wouldn't. It's just I can't waste one damage popping both of these. It gets rid of your, yours as well. Squirrels means all minions are gone. I like that. It seems pretty clean. And then I can do three off the main in addition to that. I do squirrels here. Cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And you've still got that tele, dude. You can teleport anything I'm, you want in there. I'm going to save it for a minute. Let's make the call <laughs> for a squirrel girl. It just gets you those tokens, too, so it's too good. It's a lot of tokens. And this guy goes away. Red squirrel takes one. And then I'm going to thwart. Well, is there a better way to do this? No, it's got to be this way. Thwart for two here? Yeah. And then I'm going to flip down. I'm going to recover one draw card. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of my... Actually... <laughs> you trying to leave it out? Because I can do it next round, just the same. Yeah, I guess it's the same idea. It doesn't matter. I have a minus one to all your stuff right now. And I'd rather... I will shuffle. In that case, that... do you do this all day before you flip down? You do. The yeah. what? Do you, I do this all day before you flip down? Does that matter? Salt A? You can do this all day. Stand oh, cap I can do this all day. Them, instead of spinning the... Um, I don't I don't think so. You'll see. Because this will just stay. Still doing this. But I need to use my free ally as well before I mm -hmm. do that because I want to shuffle that in. So let's go... I have too many allies. What a, what a problem. Yeah. Do well, you send them with squirrels and replace her. Yes. Or White Tiger, because like White Tiger getting shuffled back in is probably better. That's kind of where I'm also at. So let's just... Well, this is what I have to do first. Fully back around now. Um, let's go lead from the front. Mm. So they're all at plus one. Then White Tiger will do four. Can you lead from the front before you fort with Cap? Mm -mm. You can't? I needed... Is Alter Ego? I needed... Steve's apartment. Steve's apartment to get the resource. You could pop the resourceful instead. I have to have that wild. That can't stop. Oh, you'll draw it again. How no many way, man. in your discard pile? All of them, except of this them? one. I would rather just take the sure thing. Minus one? Who cares? Minus one. Come on. I'm taking the sure thing. Okay. Okay, okay plus whatever. So she's doing four. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take four off the main because that's just how we lose. Then it, I'm going to do three off of it. Yep. Yeah. And the squirrels is going to go ahead and do two off of something. This one probably. I think the extra card is probably worse. And this tees up, we can get rid of an ally. Yeah. If we need now, it. I'm going to go ahead and use my free ally. So I'm going to use my emergency teleporter. Didn't we decide leaving from the front works for the rest of the turn? It's it a does. permanent effect? Yeah. So if you take three off of here, I can clear this one out. So, what's your biggest? Besides White Tiger. Oh, can't play lead from the front in Alter Ego. So, mm, okay. pop the resourceful. Save the card. Yeah, I had to do it. So yes. I still have a card. Yes. I love it. Roll those bones. Ugh. Who cares? Well, it, this is a wild in my hand, so I can save yeah, it if I decide it goes wrong. So I pop my exoskeleton, uh, and I'm going to get Falcon. Falcon. So when he gets played, I get to reveal the top three. Mm -hmm. And there were no treacheries. Yeah, that was good. But then you'll take three off that. And we'll shuffle white, or put white tiger on the discard pile. 
Um, then let's go ahead and play. Oh, I can do it now. I'm just going to go ahead and discard Shang-Chi to use this wild. I'll take two damage. No, I want, to, I want it to be here. Dang it, because I don't want to shuffle it in. That's the worst thing that can happen. Uh, so I'm just going to hang out on it. I either have a zero-cost ally if I draw another wild, or... Yeah, that's all fun. You're good. You did it all? I did it all. Is it all done? And so we probably can't lose this turn. So let's see if there's any alter ego actions here. There are not. All right, let's roll up. Oh, actually, I couldn't play this. So that I paid for it. All, all sorts of stuff got messed up because of that. Uh-oh. Oh, I, I played it by using the resource. I get it. And then we good. We good. And then you have to use your uh, ob your weird exoskeleton thing. So this is the card from Steve's apartment. So that ha can happen at the very end, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So let's start with the good things. Let's flip here. So I want to do five. The Red Skull. I kind of do. Do I want to do five to Red Skull or not? It's a good question. And so getting rid of this actually doesn't matter right now because we won't get to trigger the, the thing. We get to trigger its Bugatti little ability. It's fine though. Mm. Okay, I'm with it. I've got it. I think I've got it. And we've got to defeat a thing here. And then we've got to attack and defeat a minion to hit Battle Fury. So I just don't think we're going to do that. Apparently, David's saying allies remain in play with a card until a card ability or game effect causes it to leave a play. Can I discard a played ally? I thought, yeah, we had read that you can. It's probably in the blog somewhere, down in the uh, the archives. All right, so let me think about my options here. So the first thing I do think I'm going to do, expert marksman, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the quiver and just see what we get into here, if anything. Oh, that's good. That's one I don't have to play out of hand. So I can either stun or cable arrow. I'm probably going to do Cable Arrow, Stand Up, Explosive Arrow, and then be happy with my life, because there's no other ways to stand up. Okay, so. Let's do a cable oh, arrow man. There. I, there's so many ways I should have done that turn instead, based on those interactions. Because, like, I could have instead attacked to get the retaliate damage to defeat the allies, which would have actually been better, if that's what I had to do. Which is ironic. What? Okay, then let's do Expert Marksman, Explosive Arrow. Get rid of these boys. That feels good. And three to Red Skull. Over here. Okay. Easy. Now, do we want to launch a Cable Arrow? Or do we want to swing for five? Justin saying, page 11. A player who controls three allies can play a different ally, immediately discarding one of the previous allies. Yeah. Got it. It's the way to work it right there. Do we want to pop Red Skull right now? I mean, if you got it. Is it time? It's time? It's going to be a little bit rougher because he'll his stats will probably be a little better, but like... If you're going to waste a significant amount of... You know what is right? I think this is right. Instead of doing cable, let's get the uh, the stun one that I chose not to get. I think that's going to be better for me.
Okay, and then if I'm thinking right, I'm going to do this to this, and then to, to here. And that'll do that. And then go swing. I don't know. I think that's pretty good. I can't hate it. We can also wait one more turn on Red Skull. Because we're pretty safe right now, right? I mean, he'd have to go crazy. Nobody's concerned. Nobody's really concerned. As long as you're saying hero, I think we're really safe. Yeah. And I'm going to stun him. Great. This is the, is the other piece Perfect. of this. Well, let's go for it. Okay. So, I can stand the bow, and I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to exhaust Hawkeye. I'm going to stand the bow. Then, I'm going to do the bow and two cards to play the electric arrow. Exhaust the bow, which I did. Stun in three here. One more arrow done. Then, watch out. Here comes. We're going to Earth's Mightiest Hero. Yep. I'm going to go here. No, nope, it's not going to work. I've got the damage. Maybe that's not right. Leave him at one? I went down by one, yeah. You got three here, per chance? That's what I'm looking at. I do. Like, he's down. Justin Retaliate would work, but he's got range for the zeros. Yeah. Hmm. I like leaving it one. You like that? Mm -hmm. like, uh, leave it. Leave Just it one. Clear that so his attack's not super boosty, stunned. It, it would have to go really poorly here for us to not be in a really great position next round. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing this right. I'm just going to battle a fury. Maybe that's not. I cannot. I don't have the. I don't have the minus one that I needed. I needed it. So I can either stun and do three, or I can clear this. Which one's more important? Mm. I think we, well, let's tee this up. Let's do two there. Yeah, because that'll get rid of minions. A minion yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that seems better. All right, end of round? Uh, yeah, that'll be the end. And everything's going to stand up. Get up to five cards. Oof. That's good news. <laughs> All right. End of round. First thing is two on plus a side scheme. Censor the pass. Three cards get shuffled in. You got one card over there? Yeah, but... Uh, oh, that's amazing. That could be awesome for you. Yeah. Woo! Hey, I need an extra encounter card for that Hydra Sentry. All right, uh, then he's going to interact with us, starting with me. He's going to scheme. So mm -hmm. it's four plus a card. Oh, did you get the that one? Plus one? I did not. No, thank you. Four plus a card, make it six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then he attempts to attack you. Fails. Then we get our bad cards, and I get a bonus. One, two, one. Nailed it. Master Strategist attached to Red Skull. When Red Skull is activated, it's given an, him an additional boost card for each side scheme in play. Mm. And then discard this card. Uh, then he gets an exosuit. Oh my gosh, he's like Voltron over here. If he activates right now, he's going to be like, a hello. Problem. Yeah. He also gets Crossfire's Rifle. He gains range and plus two, exhaust your hero, etc. Spreading lies. Place two threat on each scheme in play. So now's the time. This is awesome. I mean, luckily, you just stay in hero mode and let the allies deal with these. Yeah, that's right. He just gets he dunks on them. That's correct. Uh, this passes to you. Hey, thanks. There's an ally discount at play. 
Well, I'm not using it. It's go time. Do you think it's time to, to kill? Should we should we make the make the case here? Uh, let's start with an apartment. Oh no, I don't want to do this yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Should we try to work on sense of the past? I think it's going to be all damage. I don't think sense of the past is going to matter. We I have mean, to do forty-one damage. I wish you had one like dumb damage that you could do. I mean, technically, I think it's called Squirrel Girl. But yes, I know. But what you're she's saying. in play. Yeah, it's a problem. Because I'm not wasting Hawkeyes. I'm not wasting that Vibranium Arrow. Let's start with the Quiver and see what we get. Nothing. There's no arrows left, Hawkeye. You've shot them all. You fool. I've got a cool 17-ish damage. Could be 20 if I needed it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and flip him. I mean, the best the best flip that I've got is... Uh... Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, what's my worst? I'm trying to think of what's my, like... Oh, my easiest damage. Um, man, you have a... There's a bajillion attachments. It's insane. I mean, if we're both in hero mode, it's literally just block with the allies. We're just ignoring it. Yeah, just ignoring, <laughs> just ignoring it. Um, but he doesn't retaliate too, so just re that's the thing that's probably mm -hmm. worth knowing. That's gonna kill Sentry. Um, all right, I think Hawkeye is gonna do it because reasons. No, Sentry's gonna do it. All right. Ready? Yep. Let's go. See what he does. Final boss Probably mode. Probably puts a minion into play. He's got three schemes still. Two attack instead of one. Plus one attack for each side scheme in play. Win or reveal, deal each player an encounter card. Hopefully that won't matter, right? And he's at 40. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> It's funny because I really need minions. But I don't have any. All right. I don't think I'm going to clear this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my card. Okay. So I'm doing five. So that's ten. My math just got different. Hold on. 16. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that differently. No. Do we want Sentry in? Let's see. Hawkeye swings. Yes, that's better. So Hawkeye is going to swing to do that final red skull damage and take two. Okay. So we can do this. We can do this. And then we can do this. This. This, this. I have 21. We're close. So let's see. I've got six. I've got 16. You've got 21. Mm -hmm. 37. Seven out of 40. All right, we need to squeak out three damage. It might happen here. Oh, Lord. Let me make sure my math can't get better. Yeah, that's kind of where I am, too. Don't forget your ally discount if that matters. Uh, I don't have any allies, so that's what I'd have to draw an ally. Now, we can technically maybe weather that. 
We do kind of have to make the choice, though, now, don't we? If we both are in hero mode... We're probably fine. We're probably fine. Yeah. If we're both in hero mode, probably fine. And he's got... Yeah, he does have ranged a million ways. Oh, and he's got double retaliate, too. Yeah, he's got... He's retaliating for a billion. Oh, Sentry should have... One on it, too. All right, I think. I think. mean, if we're not going to win here, I also could do some cleanup. So is our best bet to try to win? So I can I can unload everything I've, I can, and then go down alter ego, draw three, see if we happen into like Hulk, for instance, which we won't because he's in my discard pile. Um. Spider Girl would potentially give us one more damage. Your Retaliate would do one more damage. <laughs> when he swings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Block and take it. Now he'd kill me. He's at nine plus three, like a bunch of boost cards. But how much you block for? Do you have any shield blocks? Not. I mean, they're in here somewhere. So. You might pull one going into the next round. I just blocked one that way. It's just a safe, safe route. Um, I could also just clear all of the threat. Absolutely all of it? I mean, it would clear this and some of this. And then, like, there's just no way we lose. Could you get Mockingbird back? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do all the damage that I can. And we're going to see where that gets us. Okay. Okay, so... Let's start with Marksman plus Helicarrier. It's going to launch this Vibranium Arrow. Six with Piercing. So just six to Red Skull. No Retaliate. Arrows! God of Love. Then we will... Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh huh. Stay on Hawkeye. Do five with Hawkeye. Take two. We'll play the old Adrenal Stims. And All right. Them. Take the old five. That's awesome. Stand. Swing for five. Oh my goodness, we're so close. I know. Like devastatingly close. Thank you. Uh, then we'll roll down. Use Hall of Heroes. Give me one. Give me two. <laughs> give me Hulk. No allies. Come on. Um, nothing to be done here. Now, you, is there like a mansion you can give me? Nope. You have a full hand and can't do anything with it? Not a thing. Though the best bet, uh, honestly, um, that does make sense. If I'm going to go for three, that should that makes a lot more sense. So instead of using, I use the Helicarrier, I may as well use either a Cable or a Relentless. Yeah. Relentless, because there's no minions. Yeah. So then I can at least give you one. That's helpful. So let's do two, three for a Helicarrier. And then I've got some arrows in hand, and then minus one wherever you want it. All right, so is it 24? 24. Am I reading that right? Yeah, that's right. Let me just do my math one more time. And Amy, are all of these hero actions to get rid of? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 okay. If we had a minion, it actually would have been enough damage through Relentless Assault. And then I would have stood up again. Whoo! That's crazy. How close are you on the damage? Um, 
Factor in the retaliate too. Let's see, we'll go to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I'm at 21 as my cap still. 18, 19, 20, 21. So max, max scheme against me is going to put it at 21. Hmm. Yeah, Roscoe, so the adrenal, adrenal sim gets removed from the campaign log, but it doesn't get removed from the game. So once you use it, you get to use it that entire game. You have a resource for me. Yep. That might change everything. And you have one from Retaliate, don't forget. Yeah. As far as you know, people have been saying that you can use those over and over, so. Is that true? So hold on, I might not be able to pay, play the uh, adrenal stims. If you can't pay the cost of it, because the cost is to, uh, the cost says, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. So you remove it from the campaign log, which is our book. But what if you've done that already? You can't remove it again, right? So if you can't remove it again, you can't pay the cost. But it says discard it, not remove it from the game. So it goes to your discard pile, that's for sure. Yeah, but then it says the cost, discard and remove it from the campaign log. So what if I can't pay the second part of the cost? That seems crazy to me. I know, but this game is crazy. It's so, it's got weird intricacies. I thought like once you, you're in the game, it's like, all right, we can use it this game. Apparently, it goes to the discard and becomes a wild resource. Okay. So what does that change for you? So basically, what I'll do instead, these cards. So actually, what I would do instead is don't get retaliated. Recover five here. So we're in, we're in play for the long game now. Okay. So the game has changed. And then... Hold these cards with Helicarrier and Cable Arrow. So then, if that's the case, I don't get to stand up. I don't get to do damage. I don't heal the four that was on me. I think that's right. And so then there's no standees. I go down to Alter Ego. I draw three. And then I play but the Helicarrier. If we're... If we're in survive mode, do you even go down and use your tokens? No, probably not. Because it well, there's no more Hail Mary. Yeah. So I think you put the three back and you get your tokens back. All right, I'm on it. Unless you need that helicarrier. Not if we're doing long game. Yeah. Prepare saying, we're waiting on clarification, but I don't think it was the intent in Lord of the Rings. So the thing is, this isn't Lord of the Rings. The thing that makes me think they want it to stick around is you remove it from the log that you discard it. So it either becomes a wild resource or the goal is the game you use it, you can actually keep using it if you keep going through mm -hmm. your deck. But I, you know, who's to say I haven't, haven't been following all the community podcasts, so I don't, I don't know all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. I'm going to discard a wild, uh, take two damage and discard my obligation there or the anti-hero propaganda. Um, then we will flip, cap is at three thwart, so let's go ahead and leave from the front, make them a four, we will for two, six, 
goes into 40, 36, goes to 34. Let's 34, 29. Yeah, she's a 29. Let's thwart here. So I can draw a card. Defeat a Hydraman. Oh, is that what that one is? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hello. Hello there. This changes everything. Uh, then... Let's lead from the front again. Oof. And then Falcon will remove four from the main scheme. Moon Knight will remove four from the main scheme. Squirrel Girl will remove three from the main scheme. Perfect. Um, then I'm going to play White Tiger using a Wild to do three. We'll remove three here. And then she'll thwart for five. Hmm. Okay. Looks good to me. And then that will be the end of that. And that's Cap. That's Cap. Okay. Well, we shouldn't lose, right? Tis the goal. Hello there. And we got blockers for just a thousand years, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me draw up one, two, three, four, five. The wool. Okay. Now we're going to add two. Yep. We haven't run out of encounter deck yet, still? Nope. It's easy. Plus one for March for Duck. Um, then we go to interaction. interaction. Side scheme comes into play. It's the prison camps. Defeated a free ally. Hello. Smells like Goliath to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a big old Goliath turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we go to uh, interaction. So he's what? Two plus three plus four plus five, six, seven. Eight, nine, with two boost cards? Two extra boost cards. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to block with Moon Knight. <laughs> right? <laughs> so three boost now, cards, and now, he's at nine damage. If there's a card that does damage to Moon Knight, you're dead, right? True. So that makes me want to block with Sentry. Because, like, Sentry yeah, has yeah. four health. Yeah, I like that. Now, what about you, though? when it comes time for Zach's turn. Because you're going to have to be in the same... Now, you won't get double boosties. Yeah. Why are you doing three boosts? It's one, and then it gets an additional boost card for each side scan play. Okay, so the next one will be less likely to have a problem. So let's block with the Sentry Man. Uh, five icons, and none of them give you a damage. All right. Sentry takes <laughs> literally... Yeah, is obliterated. So I, I think the main thing here is I just block with like Falcon because mm -hmm. he has two health left. So somebody would have to do two damage to him. Yeah, which I find unlikely. I find it unlikely too. Nothing. So yeah. he's just gone. Okay, then this is gone because it was used. Yeah, and then he's still got a thousand different ways to kill an ally. Um. Okay. Uh, bad cards? Yep. And then we get an acceleration, acceleration. card. And I resolve mine first, yeah. Yep. Infinite power. Give Rose Call a tough status card and he attacks me. Hmm. Pretty good. You got well, any heal blocks over there, Cat? Nope. Uh, I say I block with White Tiger. Blocking. <laughs> boost. If you were in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not deal boost cards. Okay. Still a problem. Mm -hmm. But there's no boost cards, so I'll block with Moon Knight. Yeah. Now, if he gets another attack here, that's pretty good for him. Could be. 
Now, oh, man out of time. In that case, hold on. Oh, that's good for you. I was gonna say maybe. What if cap? Oh, no boost is a is a is still a problem. It's still a bunch of it's damage. It's like a bajillion damage. So okay. I'm gonna flip, and exhaust. That way, if I hit an exhaustion, oh, that's and really... if I flip, he can't yeah. attack me. Caught off guard. Discard an upgrade or support I control. That's yeah, very fortunate. Team training. This passes to me. Mm -hmm. Great. I enter my seat here. It's Steve's apartment first. I'm going to use the quiver when you're there. Not a single arrow. Where are my arrows? What's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's gone. Maybe I'm supposed to have it. I'll never know. Well, this is an interesting turn now. How much damage you got? Not awesome. Um, let's see. What do I have? Five. Eight. I've got eight in giving you a helicarrier and then drawing three off of Hall of Heroes, and maybe doing more. Helicarrier's not going to be that exciting. I'm already not excited. That's a six for a free ally, if I can get there. That's pretty good. Um, so that probably puts Hulk in for me. Since there's no allies out, I probably throw Hulk in and try to get five. He's also a pretty beefy boy. Hmm. But also weird. That also, double retaliates a yeah. problem. And we got to deal with this, uh, deal with the tough token too. I guess I have to punch it. Do we really? Now we're not we're not scrambling too much. So like. Exhaust your hero. Spend. Okay, so this is a spend. 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 So I might just start like undressing Red Skull. I mean, these don't matter so much. Exhaust your hero in a wild. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just kind of weird. We got into a weird moment here. I think I know what I need to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. And then we've got this and this. All right, let's do this. I'm going to flip. I'm going to do, I can do this all day. Oh man, if I punch him, he's gonna hit me for two. It's too much. For too much. Two is too much. Are we trying to kill him here? I'm not. I'm not ready. I, I ran out of arrows. Hawkeye's like sad. Well, let me flip back out. Flip. So the problem is that I don't have a stack of allies anymore. So if he gets a couple attacks going, yeah. I guess we can dress him down, as you say. We can dress him down, or we can... Uh, what's he scheming for? Three, four, five, plus a boost on both. Clear these out. Now I've got Mockingbird under here, so she would cancel one of those attacks. Uh, I mean, part of it... Let me look. Because I think I can get rid of some stuff, too. Start undressing. So, like, interestingly, I think I can get rid of these three. The ones that I can get rid of. He's going to be a hardy four. I can get rid of this. And, like, this. These are my... So, I basically got, like, that spread of things. 
Does a helicarrier change anything for you? Probably not at this point in the game. So the these are the ones I'm most interested in, which I can pretty easily get rid of. And I can also... We could also get rid of both of the schemies. Get rid of these guys. Try to clear as much of this as possible. Because I do have... I do have an arrow for that, and I have a confuse. So someone can be an alter ego. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're best at or, alter ego right now. Or both of us could be an alter ego. Like if we hear action, remove these. Well, they're hero actions. I'd have to flip up the dude. Oh, you'd have to flip up. Yeah. So that changes that a little but bit. But if you give me a resource on your turn, is it possible for you to get rid of that? Yeah, I can do it with the confuse arrow. So if you confuse him, I can stun him with the extra car extra resource. From the helicarrier? Yeah. I could do six and stun him. Let me see how I can get that guy into play. So that would be that. And then I do this and this. And that would essentially be my my turn. And then I can roll down, recover, hang out, and then next turn get three cards, with a big... roll in, and hopefully hit the quiver correctly. Yeah. Now you can do the thing that you need to do on your turn. On your turn. On my turn. Yeah. Is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So can you remove both of the schemies? Or is that no longer our uh Oh I couldn't remove them okay. at any I could remove these. That's and that's, that's kind of Is anyone gonna be in here? Are you gonna be in here? I was gonna flip okay. up and then stun him. But he's stunned and confused, so he doesn't do anything. <clears throat> okay. And then all we gotta worry about is the dumb cards. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip. I can do this all day. And then I have to spend a wild with that here and exhaust. Mm-hmm. And then this is just spend. So I'll just spend. Just spend. And then now I'm waiting for you. Wait for the magic? To do your thing. OK. Here's three for a helicarrier. Here's your helicarrier. Go ahead. Wait, I need this gun. Whoop. Not using that yet. Expert <laughs> marksman. And a cable arrow to send a sonic arrow his way. So that's three damage, which is the tough and confused. Okay. And now you can give me the thing. And now you can get the calic here, yeah. Heroic strike for six. Mm-hmm. And a stun. And then I take a retaliate too, because that is an attack. And I feel like I may as well do five to him. Take two and roll down to Alter Ego. I'm with you. Anything in the deck that would just do random damage? Did your uh, Nemesis come in? Yeah, but it's all in hero mode, I think. Then I think you're fine. I think I'm fine, too. Or I could thwart for one. Tasty one. All right, let's swing for five. Three, down to 18. I like our odds if he doesn't just go crazy on us. Mm -hmm. And I'm flipping down. And uh, that's it. OK. So first thing is going to be five on. What would you draw first? Six, seven, eight. So that goes to eight. He doesn't. He doesn't. So there's a very little chance that he could advance here. It would take a miracle. He would have to do a lot. How devastating. Five. But he could do it. Yeah, famous I mean, last word. Hand size is reduced by one. Cool. All right, so five on. One. Two, three. Four, five. Actually, it's six, isn't it, for that? Isn't it two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's correct. Um, and no, then he's at three. Oh, no, wait, yeah, yeah. He's not, he's not, he's not doing that yet. Uh, then we get a side scheme. The Red House. Red Skull cannot take damage. Hmm. Well, that'll slow us down a little bit. Hmm, it's fine as long as I don't get exhausted. Uh, then he attempts to attack me, stun. He attempts to scheme against you, he's confused. Mm -hmm. We get our back cards. Start with me. Sniper shot, three damage. <laughs> Hello. Master strategy, so double boost. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. This is for you. Are you exhausted? No. That would be a bummer. <laughs> that would be a bummer. OK, next up. 
I'm an alter ego. All of heroes. Move three counters, draw three. Okay. 18's the number. 18's the number, but we gotta get rid of Red House first. Hmm. If you have events that do damage, that'll make it a lot easier. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, allies. So, let's see. If I play an ally this turn, is that a problem for you? No. What kind of ally are we talking? Spider Girl. How much does damage do you do on the attack? Two. It's the best I've got. He's got to retaliate too as well. Yeah, but like, so Clint can attack, you can attack this. You can use your attack instead of your thwart. Mm. So I can do five there. And Spider Girl can finish that off. Now, or I can wait. Any way, do you have any way to stun Red Skull? 18. Okay, let's see what we can do. Now, what if I could ready Spider with... Girl twice and heal her one every time? Well, let me look at the quiver here first. I think we got to go for it right now, yeah? I mean, we're going to weirdly... It's just those stupid attachments. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I think we can do 18. We should be able to do 18 with our eyes closed, right? I mean, I got wrecked pretty hard, but yes, that should be the... It, this is so easy for me to clear, it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Did you pass the token, right? We yeah, passed the token I passed it over to you. officially. So like I don't know. I don't know what you're It is problematic that you could totally clear that. I wish I wish it were not the case. Well, let's see what kind of arrow we get. Yeah. It's a good one. Which one is it? Uh, Vibranium Arrow. Is that six damage? Mm hmm. Okay, now we gotta find a way to thwart. This is also a really good hand just for removing, for undressing Red Skull. Like crazy good. Which is kind of, kind of important. I mean, there's an element of that. We could just do it. Just undress him? I mean, now's the time. So I think my best play is probably um, Hawkeye. It's going to shoot the Vibranium Arrow. Does Helicarrier change your game at all? Depends on which way we're going. To the kill, the kill direction? I don't think so. So if I'm at 18, let me look at what we could actually do. So let's go here. Let's go here. So you said you can chain out Spider Girl? How many times could you do that? I can ready her twice, and okay. she heals each time. Will Young uh, asking if Kang has been charged yet. Yeah, so Kang gets charged. Uh, subscriptions get charged about two weeks beforehand. If you were signed up in September for the Scenario Pack subscription, you should have been charged, but you also should have received an email notice. Check your spam inbox just in case. You can also log into your account and see what you've been charged for. Can you do seven? Seven what? Damage. At, like, once it's all settled? Mm hmm If you can't do seven, I don't know what to tell you. Well, am I also doing... Nothing else. Well, and healing uh, Spider-Girl. So that's yeah. a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, I cannot do seven. Hmm. I could do four. Oh my gosh. Not how I built. How much can you do if you don't stand up Spider Girl a bunch? You got allies? I do have some allies. What's your best? What's your best damage is if I just clear this red house? Do you also give me a resource? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Like eight? Yeah. 
Now, what if we clear prison camps and we get a free ally? That gets totally different. Yeah. That's actually, no, wait a second. I'm thinking about this all wrong. That's big money? Because I can go get a Goliath mm -hmm. and him standing. Actually, he the Retaliate 2 gets him off the table once. Otherwise, it's really good. What if I get rid of the, one of the Retaliates? Holy mecca, roly. Uh, then Goliath swings in for 10. Okay. And then the rest is kind of history. So, like, you chain, you can get rid of this and this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, here, let me let me start actually working on working that out. So, let me do Spider Girl. Mm -hmm. Now, really, I really want to get rid of these prison camps so that I can use the ally that comes into play, but we might not need that. Because like then I can use like Hulk or something. But again, we might not need that if you've if you've got it. So we'll we'll look at it. Justin says break Goliath out of prison. Yeah, That's very good I mean. idea there. Okay, let's do Spider Girl. For, with a strength. Mm, that hurts because you don't have anything to use your ability on. No, she doesn't. Then let's do five on the red house. Courtesy of Hawkeye. And then let's clear it with Spider Girl. Either either stat will work. She takes one. So now damage can happen. Do you need the helicarrier? Well, it depends on what the play <laughs> is here. Depends on what's going on. So I'm gonna do a relentless assault, an Avengers Tower, and A downtime. Get rid of this. Okay. Now, if I get rid of both of them, can Goliath go a bunch of times? No, he does two consequential, so he can only swing twice. No matter what, yeah, because yeah. the inspiring it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's gone. Oh, wait. You have first aid? He can swing three times. You have first aid? Well, no, I inspiring presence heals one. Yeah. And he, does that have plus one? Did you? No, he doesn't have plus one health. He's no, got four, right? It'd be 15 damage. <laughs> Hold on, though. So he swings, does two to himself. He heal one and ready. Heal one, and now he's got one. He swings, he's he goes three. to three. Then you yeah. heal one, ready. Okay, let's get rid of the other one then. And then I'm going to use the helicarrier unless you absolutely need it. I specifically don't. Okay, Helicarry, an expert marksman, launch of a brain marrow. How Six. much? Woo. Oh, yeah, that's, this is Gover. We did. Let's go. We got your number. <laughs> and I have the perfect way to do this. Yeah. We did it. We, fi we figured it out. Can you clear prison camp? Yes. Okay. Captain Jabimbo. <laughs> Mine? Yeah. All right, we'll thwart for three off prison camps. Yeah. I can do this all day. We'll do it again. Okay. Yeah, I'll get I a, think we got it. Then I'll get a free Goliath. He'll do the ability plus four. He's at five. Yes, I'll he's at five. Something as well. So he'll swing for get five. Get in here just so you can get excited. Take two damage. He swings for five. Yeah, just so you can get excited. And then I'll play Inspiring Presence. Mm-hmm. Heal one. Swing for five. Mm-hmm. And then I'll play Inspiring Presence. Mm-hmm. Heal one. You take us through. Swing for five. Done. Defeat the Red Skull. That's Man, that awesome. was that was some I feel that was like, really good last last scenario. I feel like if I had known using my thing wouldn't let me use it again. Yeah. I used it kind of like it was okay time to use it, mm -hmm. but not that great. And that set off a chain and that whole turn where I I should have done if I was gonna use the exoskeleton, I should have used it on the other side in the wilds. That was like after looking at it again, after I made all those mistakes, I was like, oh, that could have gone way better for us. Yep. yep. But it happened. I agree. So, like, I, I popped those Tims early because I was like, well, I get to use those again. Let's go. Yeah, instead of like a really, really meaningful turn to have them on, it's like, yep. I just want to get it at anything. Yeah. I agree with Jay Danger here. Cap leadership, God tier. It's so good, right? The amount of threat he was handling that is and the block. so he was, good. He was handling threat better than justice, and he was blocking better than protection. He's probably doing more damage than, with allies. I mean, you just did 15. 
Yeah. With Goliath without thinking about he it. He can do it aggression. All. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, victory. Hydra is defeated and the players win the campaign. Turn the page to read the conclusion. Ah, let's get him. Cap, I found the stone. Oh, someone's in his earpiece. I believe I can use it to undo Hydra's reality. Do it, Tony. Cap's holding the red skull up. Uh, from the jet, I guess you see this uh, Iron Man and then just the red mm. stone happening. Mm -hmm. it, from the jet, it's good to be home. Verily, another glorious victory to celebrate. It's got to be Thor. Uh, Cap, and look at his little t-shirt. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's bothering you, Work Tony? Out here. And then Tony says, Hydra nearly conquered the world with that stone. What if there are more stones out there? Oh, no. Bum, bum, bum. So are we doing, you think the next campaign, first of all, when is it happening and what is it? February. Is it Thanos? No. no. February. Okay. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Oh, Which in the right. movies also involves, like, it's Ronan the, the Conqueror, or Ronan the Accuser, and then, like, a lot, there's more stones involved. So my assumption is that the story from campaign box to campaign box is going to continue. Yes. And I had a hypothetical thought. Yes. I heard people talking about this. People were talking, man. Which is like, basically, you get so souped up by the time you're going into Red School that, like, it, you can figure out a way just to beat it. Because you look at the upgrades that you can use, and then they're gone. And I have all these zero-cost allies and stuff. But if, if these campaigns actually link up, like, if, if it leads into more stuff. you can play, like, 20 scenarios in a room. Then when you use that once a campaign card is way more important. Because, like... It's a fascinating concept. I don't know that I would use it against Red Skull if I had 10, 15, 20 more villains to go. But that's... I mean, that's exactly what you want. It's like, Robert's got this VR game. He, he got the uh, he got the, the fancy uh, new VR thing. Um, I forget what it is. It's, got, it's the one that has Half-Life Alex on it. But um, it, it's an arrow game. And you're an archer. Imagine this for a second, by the way. Playing Hawkeye, of course. But it's a VR game where you're sitting in a tower, like a, a castle tower. You got your VR headset on, and you can see it in front of you. And you literally are doing this to shoot arrows in VR world. Yeah, right? you just physically have to do it. So that's happening. This is a game that we play all the time. And they have little power-ups that you hit, little bullseyes that you can hit, and I'll drop oil, and that will like clear a big wave. But it goes on indefinitely. There's no end... So you have to always ask, like, oh, it's level, like, 26. I'm getting wrecked, and it's, like, in the two seconds, you have to decide, is now the time I want to blow that power yep. up? Or do I want to try to, like, make my way out of it? Because if you can survive and still have the power up, level 27 is going to be way easier. And that, that tension is extremely fun to be, like, oh, man, like, I, I'm just going to try to bust it out. And then you get out of it, and you're, like, oh, man, now I, have, I still have that power up. I feel in invincible right now. Yeah, especially when, like... The reality is, if you uh, everything except Red Skull, there, if you fail against that villain, you try again. So, like, I was always nervous to use the once of power ups on any campaign that yeah. wasn't the final one. Of course, yeah. Because it's like, well, if we lose, we just start over. But if we lose that one, we lose, lose. Uh, but I can imagine even 10 or 15 villains would be enough to make me question when to use those. Yeah. Oh, man, that'd be super fun. Uh, prepare the game. What game is in VR? It's in a game called The Lab. I think it's called The Lab, and there's like a bunch of different mini games in there, and the archery one is, is one of those mini games. I think they did a phenomenal job in this box. One of the things that I like about it the most is that it's just the right amount of length to be epic, but also, if you wanted to, you could play it in one day. I think so. You could get together in eight hours, everybody brings their heroes, and if you got a reasonable track record or you're playing on normal or easy or whatever... Um, you're probably going to get through it in six to eight hours. And that is just an epic day. You put on the Marvel movies in the background. You know, yeah. you get some some snacks and some drinks, and you absolutely play it. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I think it's right in the pocket of where it needs to be. And I assume, like, we'll see what they do, right? And we can keep speculating on what they're going to do. But you know it's going to link up. Why would you? you keep, that's such an easy opportunity not to miss. Yeah, and I, I, I'm curious if, like, so let's say the next one comes out. You can link them up in some way, right? And then it's like, does that also add a component to the entire campaign? Because mm -hmm. the next campaign is going to change this up too. So the replayability starts going through the roof. And if you add a third or fourth campaign, that not only is like a more links that you can do, mm -hmm. but also whatever layers to the game they want to add. Man. It's very cool. It's a very cool way of them doing it. Because if you introduce the next box, you could have you could have something in the back that says like, that plays on things that you marked in your earlier campaign log. And so depending on where Red Skull was, maybe if he has all these attachments when you defeat him, 
like if Rescal has two attachments, this changes the first scenario of the first campaign in this box. And it's like, oh, great, that's crazy. So now we can start linking them together. Uh, I love it. And even if they don't, I'm sure players will. Yeah. Inevitably. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Hit monkey saying, why is Red Skull crying? He did, I don't know. He didn't get dunked on. It was more of a, uh, that was a, th- it was a bit of a three pointer. We kind of hit it at the buzzer there, I feel like. I mean, that. I feel like. Without those zero cost allies, man. There, there was a, a moment where it was like, I felt way ahead. Yeah. And then I felt like at the end, I could barely do, barely do anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I felt the same way. I was like, wait a minute, I'm just shooting like two arrows. You know the difference? Avengers Mansion continues to be so good whenever you just play it. Yeah. Ah, Because like that first that scenario before, just getting the extra card for like seven turns in a row. It was great. The value. Yeah, you, you were built in a very different kind of way this game. Mm-hmm. That It was very fascinating to watch because you were like, it was similar, but a little bit different. Totally you didn't get different. the Helicarrier till late either. Yeah, I didn't have Quinn your, Carrier or Avengers Mansion, which I did last time. Your economy time. was way different. It was It was worse. And the draws were weirder. I wonder how I would change this deck. That's a good question I'll ask. Hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to see the names out there that we're used to seeing and even some new ones. Uh, how great. I hope the, the quality is improved. We've kind of got the, one of the uh, less exciting studio setups, probably of, of people that you might be watching. But, you know. For now. For now, we might get some things and make it prettier. Um, I like that this, it actually has carpet, which is disgusting, but at the same time, it makes the audio in here way better. I feel way isolated. Yeah. The sound is more isolated. We switched to OBS from Wirecast. Anybody else who's streaming, y- you probably shouldn't. There's no discernible difference now that I've really used both. I think Wirecast loses on every front to OBS. I have no idea. We've been dealing with this I'm for a while. This. And I, I for, especially for it being free, it's like, it's absurd. Uh, that it's so much, so good, at least as good, if not better. Um, Wirecast has that weird, like, almost like a Windows-style problem where, like, things just don't work. It's do- it feels like Adobe is what it feels like. It feels like Adobe. They, they, they stuff in features that nobody wants, and the fundamentals don't quite work very well. I was so. going to say, Adobe always feels like they're just, like, they're, they're weirdly making things that no one wants. Yeah. <laughs> but then they have the thing that they already made that everyone wants. Yeah, like and they, they just keep make adding it slower. stuff, and it's like, yeah. why are you adding all this stuff? It's just yeah. Uh, Corey, yeah, that? we can flip the video. I believe we're using it. We're still exploring. This is our first day using it, so we'll. we'll David we'll Peterson it. asking the only question that matters: Kang next week? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. we'll I take a. So. We'll we got to build Spider Woman too. Yeah, she's on my. Spider Woman's got to happen on my radar. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see if I can do this right for the first time. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. We will see. Yeah. Hey, thanks for being with us. Stay safe. Uh, huge shout out to all our subscribers and our content members and anyone who bought the Cosmic products. You literally are why we can do all this. So shout out to you. We'll see you next week for King.